Hey, what is up, everyone? Simon Cruz here, and thank you very much for joining the nice man's zone. Hope that you guys are doing good. Hope that you guys are doing well. What is up? What is up? What is up? Hope you guys are ready for Hidden Agenda. Right here on the PS5. Well, you guys have drawn by now. Go ahead and sign on the screen chest. Thank you. I appreciate it. Don't forget to give the stream a like as well. Thank you. And also. There you go. But uh, what is up, guys? Okay. Well, I should have called this stream uh, Hidden, AD Hidden ADHD. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But. Um, what is up, guys? Mm. What is up, Edward? What's up, Vian? Some Nate? Mm. Interesting. Yes, well. Well, I'm sure you guys, I hope you guys are familiar with this game. I doubt it. This game was made by Supermassive Games, by the way. The guys that made, um, oh, Until Dawn, uh, Man of Medan, Little Hope, and House of Ashes, and, um, uh, and now the quarry coming out next month, actually. And uh, this game is quite interesting because you don't use the DualShock 4, by the way, to play this. You actually play your use your phone to play the game, actually. It uses this thing called uh, Play Link, actually. And up to seven people can hook up at the same time to this game and play this game at once, all seven people. And I think it's going to be interesting. But I got to use the phone, though. So it should be very interesting. So let's see what we got. Are oh, you doing fine at work? Okay, cool. Ah, talk about nice. Yeah, you can use your phone. Yeah, your phone also has um other stuff as well. Your phone has like a, a logbook. That has like biographies, the plot, rebel events, and also rules as well. Which these are for when you're playing, um, when you are playing with people, actually. Because again, like I said, up to seven people can just play this game, I believe. And uh, it's pretty interesting. But it says that I am in control. And apparently the game is super short as well, by the way. Apparently it's like two hours long, apparently. So we're going to do a new game here, obviously. Let me just. God damn it. There we go. Okay, see so what we got here. So yeah, see, it's got a story mode, but it also has competitive mode as well. So that's pretty interesting because, you know, when you play the other games from uh, Super Massive, it doesn't have that. It just has a story mode you play, and that's it. So let me take a sip here. And we'll see what we got here. Well, obviously, Mini Kid Mini doesn't have foam. If not, he's playing with me. But, you know, I'm going to play. I'm going to solve the crime alone then. I like the phone. The phone says, look at TV. This is great. Look at TV. Um, no shame. Yes, I want to continue. In story mode, you're playing the game for fun. Work together to solve the crime and play the story you want to see. Work together with who? Well, it, it's only the game is only ten dollars, by the way, so it's not really a big deal. <laughs> uh, but yeah, ten bucks for like uh, two hours. Eh. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, the ripple of fang. Yeah, that's true, man. Like spending ten bucks on a game and nobody gives a shit. Yeah, that's true, man. We've all been there, man. We've all been there. Mm, I'm getting a little uh Beyond Two Souls uh vibe here, by the way. Change everything. All right. Choose wisely, Soma. 
Oh yeah, you got him. You got him. Is that a mouse trap? What the hell? What the hell am I looking at? Got that naked dude doing the prayer hands. Yeah, he's waiting for tips to come in, apparently. That's why he's doing the prayer hands. At least he's not naked, though. Don't open that door! Oh, man. God damn. And that's why you don't open a door like them. Hmm, interesting. Any callers in the vicinity of five three five maker, ten thirty one, possible hostage situation. Ten thirty one. The trapper? What the hell? Okay, here we go. Nice music. Officer Becky Marnie. You ready for this? Of course I'm ready. Hell yeah. Nice and easy. Textbook college. Nice and easy? Alright. Alright, so what is the play here? Hold on. Choices by oh. moving your pointer inside the box. Yes. All right, so you can't have ties. Doesn't matter. I'm by myself. Hmm. You know what? Let's be. I think we should be cautious here. Let's uh scope it out. It doesn't feel right. Let's scope it out. Yeah, graphics wise, it looks pretty good actually. Not bad. Nice lighting. Nice music. Split up. You want to split up, Tyrone? I'll take the door around back. Windows are mine. All right. See you, in here. you go. You get those windows, Tyrone. And then Tyrone falls into a trap full of spikes. What's a right, tutorial? Use your pointer to hit the target before the timer runs out. Well, I gotta do what? There's a timer? This is too slow. I'll give it a shot then. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> I did it. Fastest finger. All right, that's gonna be annoying, man. This thing is slow. Whoa, what the hell? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Find partner. Tom. Tyrone, come here. What the hell? Well, where were those flashlights around way too much, in my opinion? I'm already sweating. Nice music. Whoa, the trapper. What the hell? What are you doing, that young lady? This is not naked. What the hell? That's why he's the trapper. Hands up, hands up now. Who's up? Who's up? Whoa, he's he's fucking ram. Move your pointer onto the target. Think before you shoot. You do not have to open fire. Well, I'm not gonna shoot this guy then. Although he's got a gun right behind him. Oh, wait a minute. Hands behind your head, no sudden moves. He's gonna go for that gun. Alright, you know what? I'm not gonna shoot him. Let's see what happens. Hold on. I'm not gonna shoot. See what happens. I'm not gonna shoot him. Hold on, hold on. He's just there. Hold on a minute. He's ripped though. Shoot. Don't shoot. I will ban. Hey! Don't test my aim, fucker. I am not gonna hurt her. Please right. help me, please get me out of here. Daniela. All right. Take it easy. Calm and calm and. Hey. Hey, hey. Easy. Easy now. Untie her and get all clothes off. Just take this nice and slow. It's over. I like that. It's not worth it. It's over. Yeah. Mr. Uh, Vin Diesel here, obey me. On your knees, that's a good little boy. That's a good little Vin Diesel. We got him. Uh, 
Damn. Well, all swell that ends well. The trapper came to a dramatic end tonight as police from the third precinct arrested their. Why are you guys so fucking ripped? Jonathan Finn. Finn is wanted in connection with a string of grisly murders that has gripped the city and claimed the lives of first response police officers. The scammer. The story as it develops. Yes, we're here. Well, we got him then. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, the accused Jonathan Finn is guilty. <laughs> Finn. There is no doubt. Your job is simply to determine how he is punished. The chair. This man, the so-called trapper killer, yeah. has terrorized our community with his brutal murder spree. Mm-hmm. That's right. He'll be trapping his victims so our brave first responders became victims themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These innocent people were targeted for no other reason than to play out Jonathan Finn's sick. And they own a lot of a lot of mouse traps. Jonathan Finn has confessed to every single one of these crimes. Who he's ugly. I ask that the court consider Jonathan Finn's voluntary confession of his crimes. Gas time. He has spared the victims' families a prolonged trial. Leave an injection. Doing so has demonstrated a glimmer of remorse. Therefore, it is my recommendation that Jonathan Finn be spared the death penalty. I give him life then. Sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole. Thank you. All right, sounds good. We can do that. Yeah, sounds. I I, I agree. Look at this guy. Well, I'm Jonathan nervous. Finn, you have committed crimes of such a depraved nature that this court has no alternative but to sentence you to death by lethal injection. No, not the lethal injection. This court is adjourned. Do not inject that into my penne. No, don't do it. I'm Kane. Whoa, yeah. He liked that. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, pretty good game. Tap right, the get... logbook button on your app to read okay. plot updates, view okay. character biographies, mm -hmm, yeah. and check the major ripple events affecting your story. All right, let's see here. Plot. I can just read it to you guys. Officer Marnie and Nelson respond to a set of trap ship. Wait, what? Let's kick it off tonight with Too our late. Own villain, She's Han. The Trapper. Sucker's been on death row for five Sucker. Four. What the hell? Is that Booker the T? The only got 48 hours left on our big blue marble, so I thought, hey, did you know one of the victims? Nah. The are over. Call the one, you're on. Hey, East. so, well, yeah, man. I mean, yeah, man, you're a heavy rain game, man. man. They can't fry this son of a bitch hard enough, you know? I saw he got messed up as a kid. I mean, that's no excuse to take it out on our finest boys in blue. That's right. Oh, hey, you suck up. You know, look at Marty for one. Promotion to homicide, metal, the worst. They're on me. Scow's on top of the world, and guess what? She's hot. Turns out she's dirtier than the rest of us down here in the mud. Wait, she's dirty? Standing evidence, improper conduct. Who knows what Turn that is. shit off right now. You never know who's one of the good ones. Huh, I thought she was cool. I guess not. She's a rookie for a reason. Graphics-wise, I think it looks pretty good, actually. It's not bad. You can tell they got a couple corners here and there, yeah, but it looks all right. You know, for a budget title, ten bucks, I think it looks it looks fantastic, though. What I want to know is, you know, who are the voice actors? Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Caught another pair of John Doe's this weekend. John Doe, huh? We're quickly racking up red names on this board. Oh I'm no. Unsolved cases don't exactly uphold the reputation we've built here at this precinct. I know, Just I know, I know. the magician on the case. Yeah. She's got a knack for making things disappear. Son of a bitch. Detective Talking Calvary? on me? I pretend you didn't just say that. You're dismissed. You guys like my hair? I'm using a new comb today. New shampoo, new conditioner. And the new mousse. For the hair. Hey. Ignore him. Yeah, I got it, Tyrone. Calvary? Everyone knows he only reported you because you're the biggest target. Yeah, I agree. Glad to know my accomplishments have earned me something. You doing okay? I agree, George Foreman. You know what? I'm anxious. I'm a that guy's a jerk. That guy's a fucking I'd jerk. I'd feel a lot better if Calvary would take a short walk off a tall building. Hey, yeah. Just promise me you won't do anything. Don't give I anything to work with. I gotcha, I gotcha. At least my other inquiry is still open. Restrain. Yeah, yeah, you're right about that, Tyrone. Thank Just gotta keep telling myself that. Yeah, yeah. Now give me, now give me a head button. Can we have a word in my office? She's got a big ass. God damn. Whew. Fuck. Got that big badunkadon going on. Maybe it's the pants. I don't know. Look, Marnie. 
I'm not supposed to comment she, on she Latina? investigation, but if it starts affecting my best detective. I'm sorry, sir. Hey, don't apologize. You're a good cop. I have no doubt you didn't do anything to compromise the crime scene intentionally. I didn't do shit for themselves. I didn't do shit. Thank you for believing in me, sir. You know, sometimes it feels like we don't have a choice in these things, but you do. You got me? Lock the door, give me a lot of bounce. Right now. I don't want to believe that. But I know the trap is set for execution in 48 hours. It's a heavy load. You know when you send someone to death row? I don't want you to be distracted. Let him fry. Um, dismissive. Yeah, I'm looking for execution. Hell yeah. Knowing Jonathan Finn's about to make his exit is what gets me up in the morning, sir. That and a bottle of gin. Better than a cup of gin. Got your message. Heading to see your client now. Felicity. I'm not crazy about meeting Finn without his attorney present. I know. Thank you for talking to him so quickly. Don't let him touch you, though. Left, does he? No, he doesn't. You want to give me a little preview? He'd be kind of a tough nut to crack. Do some Son of the Lamb Shan. You need to get him to talk about Adam Jones. Stay to the right. Better you hear it from him. You got a plan? I know how to get him what I need. I know how to get what I need. I'll call you after. Yeah, I'll bet she does. Well, here's Vin Diesel. Your attorney says you've got something you want to share with me. Yeah, that's true. Five minutes. My penam. Miss Graves. I did not kill anybody. You don't say. You confess, though. I used to blame God for what happened. At Las Palmas? The orphanage? At Las Patrons? Kids. We trusted them. But I've forgiven them now. God teaches us to forgive. That's right. I agree. You can't forgive your abusers once you've put them in the ground. Yeah? Forgiveness doesn't work like that. I didn't kill anyone! I didn't ban nobody! Hey, calm down. Let me give calm. you a head. I'm about to fucking die, and nobody will know the truth. What do you mean? What truth? Talk to me. I'm gonna die a liar, a dirty sin and liar. Truth about what? The confession, the murders, everything. Okay. Oh, so now you didn't kill them, the chaplain, the orderly. Then who did? It was Barney. Was it? You don't know. Your time is up, liar. I'm sorry, Finn, but your time is up. Wait, please, Miss Graves. We're mm -hmm. done. It was Adam. Adam Jones. Adam and Eve? From the orphanage. Adam. He was my friend. Went through the same hell as me. Who is Adam Jones? He killed them. He banned them. It was Adam, not me. All right, so now I'm curious. Okay, so I'm listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm listening, but you have to give me more to go on. Exactly. Adam and I won't. We, we were lovers, you see. We've seen some shit together. Makes you close. Adam we escaped, and I found drugs. I was high from the moment I got out of there. Who is Adam Jones? And a couple of years later, a couple of centuries, hell if I know, Adam tracks me down online. Ah, yeah. He keeps writing me and writing me and bringing up all that old shit from the orphanage. You should have blocked them. He says he knows exactly how to make them pay. Hmm. So we made an arrangement. I rat myself out, I take the heat off him, spend a couple of months in the clink, and then wham! Trapper strikes again. Except he didn't. Can't be me, because I'm in here. Makes sense, right? Pretty convenient. Convenient? Yeah. Convenient is Father Raminsky running an orphanage. Fox in a hen house. You have no idea what it was like in there. The playroom. The playroom? Well, that's what he called it. Sounds good to me. I think he was the only one who was having any fun in there. The cops never found it. The stream no. room. Oh, you can go see for yourself. I'm not even sure if the orphanage is still standing. So where is he? Adam. Now? No idea. He's in Las How Vegas. Can we find him? Gotta start someplace. I got a place. Where? It's not, uh... It's better if I draw you a map. You go right ahead then. Sure, 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 sure. Go ahead. Sure, sure, sure. Draw, draw, draw. Think. The hell? What's going on back there? Lock that shit down. 
the fuck's going on? What's going on? Whoa, wait a minute. You gotta die now. Oh god. Oh god. I don't trust this guy. Stop. Finn? Back it up, Stay buddy. Back, back it up. Talk. I just wanna scam. Back it up. I'm gonna have to spray this guy then. What the hell? Ah, God back damn it! Ah, God, my face! Back it up! Hey! Settle down. He was getting way too close. Jesus. The fuck was that about? I'm glad I sprayed his ass. How'd it go? How do you think? I had to spray his ass. He was at Las Palmas, same time as my client. Yeah. But he died in the same fire that closed it for good. Lana? Your client just tried to assault me, okay? He's dangerous. He was getting he way too fear. close. It's not gonna happen. Ever. Jesus. I'm sorry. Are you okay? He tried to grab the yeah. breasts. Look, that's not what I'm after. Then why bring me out here? Tell the judge about Adam Jones. Maybe he'll grant Finn a temporary release and help the cops track down Jones. Lana, it's too late. To Lana, huh? To an appeal. All we're doing is delaying the inevitable. I know. Adam Jones is reasonable doubt, Felicity. I never wanted the death sentence, but I just don't think this is enough to stop it from happening. Finn is not a good man. Hang on. But he is not the trapper. And if he dies, the trapper is still out there. Support him. Take it to the judge. Yeah. You're right. Let's take it to Judge Banstone, see what happens. Thank you, Felicity. Don't thank me yet. Okay, interesting. I had to spray him. He was coming at her. Boldy. Thank you so much for seeing me so quickly. Miss Petty already filled me in on this whole Adam Jones business. Yeah? Yes, sir. Uh, I just spoke with Mr. Finn. Now, in my experience, you light a candle under a man's ass yeah. and fly a balloon out of his mouth. That's true. Sir? I've Are seen you him. His story? I'm just... I'm, uh... Skeptical. I have doubts, but... Yeah, that's, um... The timing is certainly convenient, but I think he's telling the truth. Or at least some version of it. So far, it adds up. Has anyone spoken to Jones? No. He's been presumed dead for years. Well, that's quite a stretch, don't you think? <laughs> well, even if Jones exists, how can you be sure Finn can track him down? I sprayed his ass. We won't know unless we try. There's no way to know unless we try, sir. Yeah. You're full of surprises, Miss Graves. Well, if you were in my position, what would you do? Headbutt right now. Hmm. Uh, well, not my place to choose, I would say. Hmm. You're not confident, confident, yeah. I think that he can help us. If you grant Finn a single day release under armed guard, we may save an innocent man from wrongful execution. I see. All right, Miss Graves. I'm going to grant Jonathan Finn a temporary release into police custody. We got him. But only for three hours, no more. Three hours. Thank you. What can you do with three hours? Lana. You're not going to believe this. He actually went for it. Surprised the heck out of me. Wow. <laughs> nice work, Flizzy. Don't call me that. Um, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. Head over to Homicide and let him Flizzy. know. Flizzy. Good call. And Felicity. I love you. Thank you. Oh, okay. Thank me yet. You will thank me later. Much later. Whoa, trophy ace in the hole. Man, the game is pretty interesting, but the whole... The, oh, using the phone to control it is kind of weird, though. Case against Finn was air goddamn tight. Nailed him with a hostage for Christ's sake. Bon. Had to be one hell of a tale for you to go and spin the judge's head around. Restrain. A man is about I'm to sorry die. To spring this on you, we all want the same thing. A man is about to be put to death, and we need to make sure he deserves it. Oh, Jonathan Finn deserves it. Of that, I am sure. And I am so handsome. Who exactly was Adam Jones? Did he come up at all during the investigation? Uh huh. There was an Adam Jones at the orphanage. But you know what? He was a midget. Sorry, fucker was killed in the fire that shut the place down. Okay. So the story kind of ends there. Are you sure That's about that? impeccable timing. 
You don't think he's full of it? Let me see that ass. There's something there. There's gotta be. I think... I think there's something there. There's gotta be something the there. I think so, too. He's granting a temporary release into police custody to help find Adam Jones. Finn tells me Rominski had a secret room. The playroom. Called it the playroom. It's where he held his extracurricular The activities. stream room. Does that sound familiar? I remember something like that. That didn't come out in the report. Isn't this guy also a I little hole? Uh, Mr. Hillary. So when you analyze the bodies of the what is up with this guy? Did you find anything that might suggest there could be another suspect? Gosh, that was five years ago. I don't, I don't think so. No, that guy was a man of Medan. To suspect anyone but Finn. I do recall only, you know, submitting a partial analysis of the evidence because Mr. Finn. Confessed. And then I did things show. to his body, there you know what I mean? More evidence left to analyze. Well, yeah, trace signatures. Do you have access to all that data? I do. Now just hold on a goddamn second. Give How me a cappuccino. I the idea of letting this scumbag out of his cell. Finn had motive. He went through hell at Lost That's Palmas. That's true, Botch. He hated the police. We even found his hair at another crime scene. And I'm doing the more Arden of them. Park, right? That was the social worker. And, uh, Detective Marnie, would you mind walking me through that night? <laughs> Marnie? I'll walk you through it in two Hello. words. Missed opportunity. Now drink your coffee. Could have had Finn in handcuffs right then and there. Let's just do it restrained. Well, I'd like to hear from Marnie, though. I think I'd like to hear from Detective Marnie, if you don't mind. The chick with the big uh, sure. dong. Catherine Hope was a social worker at Las Palmas Orphanage. We didn't know Finn had her. Yeah, yeah. Flashback, baby! Oh, God. A 10 8 at Hog Haven Trailer Park out by the highway. 10 8. A break in in progress. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hog Haven? Scene, so I went solo. And I was naked. Should have been a piece of cake, but that night everyone was on pins and needles because the trapper was raising Kane. Kane. And any one of us could have been next. And she had the big badunkadong, so there you go. The big badunkadong is on the scene. Well, yeah, I think that the game is pretty impressive graphics-wise, actually. I'm not a fan of the controls. The phone thing should have been optional, but I like the idea, though. It's just that it should have been optional, though, in my opinion. But other than that, it's good. It's decent. Hmm. Let's search the area. I don't know. But, yeah, I think that lighting-wise, and that kind of thing, it looks pretty good, actually. Not bad. Pretty impressive. And for only 10 bucks, I mean, I think it's pretty, yeah. Nice little budget title here. Whoa, nice! Grab that fucking gun, shoot that dog in the mouth right now. Shut that animal up right now. And then shove that gun up his ass. But don't this pull the trigger. Line. I'm the CFBIP. Open exit on the highway. No perp. Gonna make an entry to the trailer. Nice. The hell? Protect the big badunkadunk. It is priority. Yeah, I think it would have been better, man. If you, the, you know, the, with, with a controller, actually. You're kind of just on rails here. Search for the clue shown at the top of the screen. Before the timer runs out. To highlight the clues before the timer runs out. Yeah, yeah, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Clues could help you in the future. So try to find them all. I'll give it a shot. What the fuck? What the hell? Okay, hold on. There's one there. Uh, footprint. Footprint right here. Hold on. I got them. There you go. And then some kind of bag or something. I don't see it. Um, Over here. Dude, I got all three. Nice. Yeah, see what I mean? The controls. The controls are kind of... Yeah. CSI trophy. Nice. Some have found... Bomb making equipment. I sure did. Hmm. I, I found everything. The footprints, the the uh I I think there was a bottle actually. Yeah, wire cutters, yeah, and uh Badunkadang. Yeah, they make good games. What the hell noise, noise. If you're out there, you die. If you don't make a noise, I shoot. But if you do make a noise, I'll shoot. Oh 
I hear a beeping sound. What the hell? They gotta do the T pose. Let's start with the mouth. I will remove the ball. There we go. There we go. Just be quiet. No noise. Who did this to you? I. I was in the bar. I. I don't know. Okay. I woke up here. Oh God! Please help me, please. At least I still have my clothes on. We've got 17 seconds here to do something. I'm gonna help the victim the best I can. It's a flashbang. Calm down. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Ah, ah. Don't make noises like a burn. Out the window. All right, I saved a life. Go. Cool. But she fucked up her hand in the process. Yep, now she has to wear a glove like uh, Julie Kidman for you within. Well, at least we only had one casualty that night. It's not that it did a lot of good. Her hand got fucked down. The social worker was killed in a head and run a few weeks later. It wasn't the kind of thing I'm eager to repeat. What happened to her hand, though? I seen you coming. You were in little hope. Now, man, man. Yeah, split so quick he left his gear behind. You know what? Admiring. You were brave to go alone. It was very brave of you to go in there alone. I was uh, just doing my job. And yeah. um, how did you link Finn to the scene? Oh, his... Uh... The Finn had left a hair at the scene. We ran the DNA through our criminal database. This guy born. came up as the match. He was already in the system. I have one eye Finn that's bigger than the other one. He station so many times he practically had a door with his name on it. When we got the tip uh, that he'd been spotted at a squat, he just happened to be driving by. Mm. Shit just seems to fall on your lap, detective. At least I caught him, Dick. Uh -oh. oh, Mama Bear's got a temper. Watch out. She does. You're not helping. I'm sorry, detective, but your attitude is not helping. Yeah, that's right. Shut up. I'm sorry. Oh. Last I checked, this was my case, and I got my guy convicted. Okay. Who the fuck are you to question my competency? Wait, I'm a what? district attorney. Are you finished? The yeah. Trapper case shook everyone up. I think I'm gonna be in, in Man of Madan, then following the yeah. Sergeant. I think that about covers it. Is there anything else we can help you with? Uh, lab dance. Well, do you have Adam's forensics? Do you have Adam Jones's forensics records on file? Well, not from his death. Were there samples taken yes. when he was placed in the orphanage? Yes. Yes. Most likely. Now Would let's it be make out. To pull those records and run them against evidence found at the Trapper's crime scene. Are you no. shitting me? You're wasting the time of this entire division. You understand? No. I got a better idea. We let that psycho die on the table. Yeah, I Calvary, guess so. Stop. We'll have Mr. Hillary look into it. I'm gonna be in Man of Medan next year. Now you. They hit copy paste on my character model. That was awkward. You should have fucking pulled hey, the Will Smith. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. I just wanted to say that Calvary's I, a dick. I love you. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You were really helpful. Friendly. Let's be friendly. So you're free tonight? Ooh. Oh, hey, what are you doing tonight? I. What? I've got a uh, huge stack of files at my apartment. Not going to be able to get through it on my own. Yeah. Okay, sure. I can help you with that. Come on over. Hey, oh, you got a hand is fucked up. Now I see this fucked up when they showed earlier it was fine. So yeah, they that that one guy was in uh Man of Medan actually. A rat trap. Huh. Yep. Found one at each of his crime scenes. Some kind of messed up calling card. Yeah. I had no idea. We managed to keep it out of the press. You smell nice. Target number one. The hell? Rupert Walsh, the Undertaker. The Undertaker. After he killed him, the trapper rigged a shotgun to the motel door, and the officer Damn. who got the call took it in the chest. Wow. Simple, but messy. Not a guarantee he killed the responder. 
Was there anything more on the victim? Sugar. I mean, he's the only one without a connection to Las Palmas. Just a local gin hound. Gin hound. A dry run with a wet noodle. I guess that was his idea of some kind of sick joke. But then again, if he's not the trapper, I. God damn it. Give Mama some sugar. This case is just the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. Ricky, do you want to take a break? Hmm. It's been hard to sleep, yeah, I'm you know. Sorry. I it's just this was all ancient history. And staring at these files again, Finn's execution coming up. I, I don't know. It's I'm just It's been hard to sleep with this shit just running through my head. Well, the good Fry news is it'll all be over before you know it. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Second target, nasty piece of work. Nice oh, candles. This is one that would beat the kids till you couldn't recognize them. LeMay. Orderly at Las Palmas. LeMay. A couple years before the orphanage, narcotics had a file on him a mile wide. Hmm. But they couldn't get anything to stick. No, he was the too ugly. Bitch. The trapper left his body in a pitch black room, rigged a light fixture with C4. Jesus. The cop who showed up flipped the light switch and let there be light. Let there be well. He's definitely elevating here. I mean, his first real kill, more sophisticated, but he wasn't satisfied. No, no, no. Third target, Father Rominski, leader of the pack. Hmm. Chaplain at Las Palmas and the man behind the abuse. The allegedly. abuse, huh? Yeah, allegedly. The trapper knocked him out, cut him open, and rigged him up with explosives. Also, um, chewed off his penne. We pen got a tape of the whole thing a few days later. The sick fucker made Rominski kneel in prayer for hours, confessing his sins. Oh, we saw that. Yeah, that we saw, yeah. What he wanted, he called Sergeant Teller. Did you know the other two cops? No. That was my precinct. Hmm. So, they all were lovers. Three of them, and you, a first responder in the botched attempt, all from the third precinct? The murders were in our district. How yes. well did you know the other two? I mean,. How well did you know the other first response? We may love one Enough time. That I didn't like him much. Okay. I got out of there as soon as possible. What if the first victims in each incident were just a smokescreen? Smokescreen. And the real target was the third precinct. It's a possibility. Interesting. Very interesting. Interesting. Yeah? These three mm. cops, they weren't exactly best of the boys in blue. They were naughty so boys, huh? The precinct had problems. Of chemical variety. Ah, too much Viagra. Are you using... Yeah, and then some. A lot of Viagra. I'm surprised this never came up in the investigation. I'm not. Yeah. Anyways, you might have something. What's up with you and Calvary? No, he there's a guy who's got it coming. He doesn't like me. You couldn't even cut that tension with a chain. He doesn't like women. He's got a stick. No, I'm going to go angry. He says I misplace evidence. All I ever wanted was to get out of this shithole and join the FBI. Yeah. As soon as I finally grow the stones to apply for training, guess what that piece of shit does? What? No. Yeah, Calvary just had to stick his nose in it. What did he do? He says that I misplaced evidence. Wait, what? How? He said that I shut it out my ass or something. Even when they come up with nothing, it's still an inquiry. It means not above suspicion, and the FBI doesn't want people who are not above suspicion. <sighs> That's some hard luck, Becky. Yeah. Hard luck. You want a massage? My father was a hero in the department. Mm. My first week on the beat, he eats his gun. That's hard luck. Damn, did he put like barbecue sauce on him? You haven't heard the things that they say about me. Every time I walk into a room, I can feel it. I'm a joke to half of these people. They're I'm always sure commenting on the ass. No use in denying it. It's supposed to be crazy, right? Like father, like daughter. Becky, you're a good cop. Okay, I'm sure everything's going Yeah, to you're a good yeah, sexy cop. Good. Yeah. I like you. Like a lie, you know what I mean? I want, you know, me on ya, you know? Me on you. Now what is up with this guy? He looks lost. This is one two five at the ten sixteen. Make an entry. No know where to part don't know where to point my flashlight at. Nice shoes. I had a pair of those actually at one point. Not bad. It's got good taste. This is the police. 
Anyone here? I've got a flashlight on me. Well, the door is wide open, so I'm coming in. Don't need a warrant if the door is open, that's for sure. Up, 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 wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna stand by, stand by, stand by. Oh, the shoes look pretty nice. All polished and shiny. It looks pretty good. Not bad. Oh, the game skips here and there, though, I've noticed. Whoop. Oh, dear God. Somebody like that pillow too much. Sir. Sir. Can you hear me? Please move the pillow from your hand. And talk to me. Whoa! What a scrub! And that's why I used a 10 foot stick to do that. Now that's a trapper uh, uh, thing right there. Well, you got home. But did the boots make it? What's going on? We got a problem. Uh oh. What? I'm Tyrone. Just a cop. What? What happened? Scrub. We're trying to put that together. Call came in, there was a body. Responder showed up, body was rigged. Trapper style. Trapper style, baby. Concern. Who is it? Police. Who? How? It's cavalry. Wait, what? No, that doesn't happen. That's ridiculous. He's dead? That was him? Sorry to the mess. Becky. Oh, God. I gotta see the body. Wait, no, wait, you'll ruin the, the crime scene. So he got banned? Yeah, he did. Damn. Eat shit cavalry. Excuse me, would you please stay clear of my working area? Thank you. But turn around, give me a view of that ass. Yeah, we could piece together. Seems like Calvary brought a prostitute. Oh, boy. Oof. Oh, God. A brought male prostitute. Here, I, you know. Try you know. Down. Only got a partial description. 20s brunette. Mm. Great. Hot, big ass. Put a whole clip in that wall and didn't hit one thing. The fuck? The only blood here is his. And Officer Montesinos. Officer, Officer Montesino. Calvary's body was rigged. Traps. Fuck Calvary. Fuck. Should have been Tyrone, though. Oh, shit, clues. Hold on, clues. Clues, clues. All right, hold on. I see one. The gunshots. This is one. Do it. Two right here. Come on. And then a mouse tram. Which I don't see. I got them all. Oh, thank God. I got them all. That's intense. I found the bullet holes, which are right there. That's a whole clip. If someone cut his throat from behind, then why would he fire this way? Good question. And if they did it from the front, why would he miss? He's a scrum. What about that mouse tram? That's the calling card, huh? Oh god. It's really him. Should have put some cheese on them. Nice painting. I like it. What is behind the painting? Oh. Camera? Anything? Hey, whoa, scare me. Whoa, wait, wait a minute. Nothing useful. Tyrone, don't do that. We saw something fall down. What are you talking about? She didn't notice? Hmm? What was that about? I'm sorry, but I have to ask you this. Where were you last night? Oh, God. Are you kidding me? Relax. I was with Felicity. I, uh, I spent the night, or uh, the evening with Felicity Grace. The night? Going over files. All oh. night? Yeah. All night? So, what else happened? What? You need to be very, very careful how you handle this. Why? You got to make sure you account for all your whereabouts. Everyone knows how you and Calvary felt about each other. It's true. You have to be careful. Do you really think I could do something like this? Listen to yourself. I'm not accusing you. Oh, no. Okay. This is the first thing that pops up in there. You can't blow up. You know what this looks like. Be smart. Don't maybe pull Will Smith here. Confused. Angry. I confuse. This is insane. This isn't happening. I wish it wasn't. I hated that fucker, but I would never do something like this. Nobody liked them. You shouldn't have to believe me. Don't make me turn into Will Smith here, goddammit! Well, hopefully that guy finds that thing on the floor that fell, actually. 
I hope. What the hell? Oh, you gotta blame me for that too? Uh, George Foreman over here? The fuck? What happened? And That's the end of part one. Check the logbook. Fix yourself a drink. Oh, thank God. Get the box when you're ready to move on. Oh, thank God. I agree. I need a drink, man. Whoo! That was crazy, man. That was some crazy shit, man. Hot damn. Whoo! I need a sip, man. Mm. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far. Been pretty interesting. But yeah, I gotta take the logbook real quick, see what's going on here. Um See because in the log you guys want I can show you by the way. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. I'm gonna show you guys the logbook real quick. Hold on. You guys see them? It's the logbook. There you go. And uh basically I'll read it for you guys. Becky recall how she helped catch a trapper. Felicity okay, we got all this shit. Yeah, we got all this shit. Yeah, Baker was summoned to the scene of a recent murder, and then I'm going to click on biographies here, and I can check on the biography. For example, her name is, uh, you know, Becky Manny. Becky Marnie, my band. And uh, she was a rookie card, blah, blah. We got Adam Jones, or for presumed Dan. Yeah, we have the logbook. She has the logbook real quick, actually. Hold on. Here's the logbook. You said the biographies. Hold on. She's right there. There you go. And then we've got ripple events and then we also have the rules which i don't need we got the ripple now i'm gonna click on uh, touch arrest here see what's going on Baker partner of morning to homicide under sergeant riggs okay well we got all this shit. um i'm ready for keep this going let's go but it's pretty cool you can put it with the phone though i like that All right, that's the guy that was in Little Hope, by the way. Not, man, man, my damn. All right, so bigger defense saved his hostage. I can. She met him at the court that same day. So yeah, you have to play it with the phone app, by the way. That's the only way to play this game. You cannot use the dual shot, uh, dual, uh, the controller. All right, so we know all this shit. Yeah, and then after that, they made sweet love on top of the files. Actually, they did. It's just obviously they didn't show that part, but that that actually happened, you know. That took place, you know. Yeah, we told about the few with the, the douchebag number line. Yeah, we found a a hidden camera at the crime scene, which everybody ignored for some reason. I don't know. I don't know that, what that was about. And then we had the alibi. Yeah, we could, that's true. Yeah, that's correct. What else you got? Well, we're up to speed here. Let us continue. Part and two. Now, part two of Hidden Agenda. Part two of Hidden Pene. I think I think for ten bucks, it was actually not that bad. But I will say this though, the phone should have been optional though. That's my only complaint though. It should have been optional. Should have been you can use the phone or your or your controller. But that's like the only flaw I see hey, in the game. Simon, how are you holding up? Um, Hang um, in there. I'm just but thinking about Marnie. A freak on the loose, I guess. I'm gonna be in Man of Medan, by the way. Okay, okay, guys, settle down. Listen up. Hey, listen up. They're gonna hit copy paste on my character model. We lost a cop today. Another one won't be returning to active duty, and it could have been even worse. That's right. I agree. Yeah. I know it's gonna yeah. be tough on all of us. No one here ever thought we'd see the day that Jack Cavalry went down for the count. Well, we're gonna be getting lap dances, all right? Yeah. Well, let's be blunt. He wasn't the kind to catch his flies with sugar. That's true. He used uh And this atrocity cannot stand. True, true. So, concern. You really think this is the trapper? And what about the bomb, sir? Was it intended to kill us? We got lucky. The we do not know. The exploded outward from the body, so when Hillary moved cavalry, the bulk of the force hit the wall. I'm grateful I still have my hands. Cool. Yeah, me too. And my penne. Montesinos, not so lucky. So you really think this is the trapper? Could be this Adam character. Could be. Could it be the scammer? Until we have reason to believe otherwise, we are treating this as a trapper copycat. And I'm going to be in Madame Dan. Jonathan Fenn is somehow pulling the strings from behind bars. 
We have District Attorney Felicity Graves here to help with the investigation. Oh yeah, she will be giving all of us lap dances. We will send her every courtesy. And get her a cup of coffee. Oh, sure, he has one. Okay. District Attorney Felicity Graves has negotiated to have Jonathan Finn temporarily released into our custody. Ah, oh, come on, you believe this? Hey. I think this might be a valuable lead, and I'm going to follow it through. I agree. Me too. If a problem with that, you know where my office is. You know where my ass Marnie, is. Marnie, I'm going to need you to look into Calvary's old trapper case file. Yes, sir. We're looking for links here. Anything we could have missed. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, sure, 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 yeah. Yeah, sure. Got it. No lap dance, okay, though. Okay, time to get moving. If I'm, remember, if I'm... Jack Calvary is watching from whatever shithole he ended up in. You have to decide lap Move dance, back. or you want me with, with the files? You have chosen the files. Okay. Very well, then. Hi. Hello That's there. Great. You like Hello me, don't there. you? They think I'm crazy. I don't know. It's just like shit on shit. I need, I need coffee. You can't get a break. Everyone thinks I'm crazy. Hey, don't stress out any more than you need to. Is she going to move in? Did have an alibi, remember? For last night? We made love, remember? They're getting ready to move Finn for his little field trip. I'd like for you to join us. So gotcha. If I can get out of the dungeon. The sex dungeon. So I've been going over it in my head. What? What do you he want? You needed an alibi for me at the crime scene. Do you really believe that I had something to do with this? Kiss me. I asked you a question. Will you let me through, please? Will you let me give you a head bun? We gotta be honest with each other here, uh, Will Smith. I'm your partner. We have to be honest with each other. Yeah. Honest. But here's honest. Everybody knows about this beef between you and Cavalry. Some okay. of these guys, they don't think you're all there. You've got to start watching out for yourself. You have to protect Tell the me, ass. You're accusing me of murdering a fellow officer. You had motive. I'm just doing my job. Jesus. You know what? I thought we were partners. I thought we were partners, bro. You're my partner, Tom. How can I forget? We're supposed to be on the same side here. We're getting kind of close here. I'm not on your side because I'm your partner. I'm on your side because I'm your friend. And you got more around here than you realize. Yeah. Why do you think Rick's put you in case review? He just wants me out of the way. Maybe. Give me some coffee. Or maybe he thinks you'll actually find something. I'll give it a shot then. Sure. Damn. She got the big badunga dung. Well, let's see what we can do here. Adam Jones was definitely at Las Palmas, same time as Finn. Allegedly died in the fire the that shut the place down. Now, according to Finn, Jones grew up to be the trapper. Which, which is which, though? How can that be possible? Doesn't make sense. Investigate. Oh, investigate the Las Palmas orphanage. If these killings are connected to the Las Palmas orphanage, Father Rominski is at the center of it. Father Rambinski. The rest of the clergy took a vow of silence the minute things started to get hairy for him. Yeah. But Finn told Felicity that Rominski had some kind of secret room at the orphanage. Mm hmm. Couldn't find any reference to this. The playroom. I guess it's time for me to head over to Las Palmas and take another look. Yep, I'm going to the playroom. I have to find the playroom. We can only pick one of the three. Oh shit! I thought you could investigate all three. I guess not. Well, we're here now, so you know what are you gotta do. We're here now. What are you gotta do? Mm -mm -mm. Nice shoes she's got. That's not the camera angle I want. Los Penes Orphanage. Los Small Penes Orphanage. Well, place we, we gotta find the stream room. Where could it be? It's gotta be hidden. Nobody's ever, ever been able to find it. What's on your mind, Becky? All right, this is a playroom to me. I see dolls and shit. Ah, 
They painted Howard on there. That's pretty cool. That's gonna give anybody nightmares. Holy shit. Whoa, Shadow! Hello? Hmm? Shadow the Hedgehog might Hello? be here. I just saw a shadow with the back of my eye. Huh? With the corner of my eye. Clues found. Let's see. I see the picture. And the window's a clue, apparently, or something. Got one. That was a clue. Fuck. Two and. Shit, 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 shit. The box. No! I couldn't. Ah! I only found two of the three. It's getting tricky, man. Babadook! I only found two or three. This sucks, man. God damn it. I had no clue what the throw was. Well, we're fucked now. Yeah, it should have been Dual Shock 4, man. Hey. The hey, who's there? Who's making noise out there? Trying to look for clues in here, some shit. Who's the, what the hell? Grab him! Grab him! What the hell? Okay, nice. I got that one. Let's check out that, though. Hey, where you at, punk? Lead me to the playroom, you piece of shit. You slime ball. Whoa, he threw that at me. Use the ass. Hey, punk. What the hell? Ah, oh, use that shoulder. Freeze! Don't move! Stop! I got you, Midgen. Train. No! Well, he's gone. No, 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 no. Not a good time, Train. Hmm. Well, fuck. We almost had him though, but that damn fucking train. God damn it. Marnie, headed to a house at 22 Huffman Road. Meet you there? Yes. Uh, yeah. Food. You got food on ya? Well, here's what I found. Relax, Someone relax. Was around Las Palmas. It could have been nothing. I mean, the place is like squatter heaven. They bolted the second I made them. Yeah. Mm. I'll see you at the house. The ass did not, you know, make them stop, basically. The way it should have. I actually thought he was gonna hit the bumper. Got the car a little too close there, buddy. Gotta leave at least uh, one foot of space there in between cars, brother. Well, he's all tied up. What the fuck is he gonna do? Mm, the rain on my body feels so good. Sweet release. Make sure he doesn't try anything. Oh, he can certainly try. Oh yeah. What's up, Scrum? Don't get any ideas. It's good uh, to see you again. Ma'am. How are your bracelets? Well, I can't feel my fingers, if that's what you're asking. You gonna help me out or what? No. Well, you try anything? All right, I'm gonna loosen them. I'm gonna loosen them. Why not? Loosen them a, loosen them a, a little bit. Just a little bit. Thanks. So oh. is this where Adam came after the orphanage? This... Is where Adam grew up. Ah. I see. Well, let's head inside then. Punk. What if the guy we were chasing was Adam, by the way? Could be. Could be. That is true, Julian. I mean, yeah, man. All clear. Couple squatter nests, but looks like they split. They split? All right, give us five. All right, give us five and it's also like get some subway, five. actually. Right this way. Now you follow up my ass. Well, I did loosen the cuffs, though. You know, I did do him the little favor, you know what I mean? So I'm hopefully this room right in here. he won't try nothing. This is where Adam slept when he ran away. Mm. Nobody's been here for years, Finn. Well, I yeah. didn't say he'd be here to greet us. Clues, 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 clues. Blues, clues! I'm gonna try to get them all. Oh, the box, the box! And then some kind of document or something. Over here! Over here! Over here! Left! 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 
All right, now I got him. I got him. Nice, 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 nice. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. So you're saying that this is this is his, not some squatters? Yes, ma'am. Wouldn't dare. They know this is my domain, and my and I rule my domain with an iron fist. I found all the shit. Say something, Kane. What yeah, I is all this? Yeah, I see the the right trap. pop was a pest control man. You don't say. He was a pretty good one too. Yeah. Get naked. Whoops! Trap then. Traps, of course. That's the evidence right there. Got from his dad was a knack for killing vermin. Oh yeah. Detective Marnie, Sarge says it's time to wrap it up. We found something. Just need a couple more minutes. Yeah, yeah. How did Adam end up at the orphanage? Mm, good question. Adam's pop had got so blasted he couldn't see a hole in a ladder. Beat his uh -huh. wife senseless if she gave him one crooked look. Jesus. One night she loaded up his double lot, took his head clean off. Right in front of Adam. With a shotgun? The judge put her away for life. No parole, no visits from her kid. Hmm. Guess it don't matter that if she hadn't picked up that shotgun, Pops would have killed them both sooner or later anyway. That's just how life is. That's our justice system for you, right? Yes. Murder is murder. Murder is murder. It wasn't self-defense. Maybe how you see it. Doesn't mean she had the right to kill. That's right. Look so at my yeah. eyes. Adam was shipped off to Las Palmas. Out of the frying pan into the fire, huh? That's right, baby. You wouldn't believe what they did to us in there. They made us we drop the soap. Piece of shit orderly. Oh. And, you know, we tried to fight him the way you're supposed to fight him. Yeah. We called the cops. Third precinct. And nobody did a goddamn thing. Not even our own social. Man, it's so sweaty. So once Adam got out of that hellhole, he figured out his own way to make them all pay. Uh-huh. Those cops, he knew their beat. He timed every murder to the minute. Efficient. He knew exactly who'd get the call and exactly what was waiting for him. You want a towel or something? Cops failed. Parents failed. System failed. Bad blood. What would you do? He took out the people who hurt us. Yeah. That that's all you got? That's it? <laughs> okay. Ah. Assertive. I'd make them pay. If I've been hurt like Adam, yeah. I'd want them to pay. Yeah. yeah. Yes. You know, I used to think maybe Adam's the only one who can see the world for what it truly is. He's so ugly. Past all the bullshit, the evil deeds that lie in the hearts of men. Yeah. But now I know only God has that gift. And me. Thanks for hearing me out. After all this time, it's nice to tell my side of it. Hey, I mention him. Sure. All right. Call anytime. Back to the there slammer is with Jim. Something else. Yeah. The hostage. When you picked me up. Mm-hmm. Daniela Cardenas. She was hot. Oh, Daniela and her sister Izzy were with us at Las Palmas. I we went through the same shit. I see. Izzy never got over it. OD'd a couple of years later. Okay. Adam knew that Daniela would do anything to see Leminski pay. Well. Uh, surprise. I'll call that in. Hold on. Son of a bitch. The hostage was in on it. Yeah, I gotta call that in. Hell yeah. She's a bitch. This is Officer 609. 10 We're gonna need an APB on a new suspect. Yeah, Daniela. Daniela Cardenas. I repeat, we need an immediate APB. Immediate Cardenas lab dance. She's not a hostage in the Trapper case. She was a co conspirator. Center copy. I'm gonna call Simon Hillary. If cool. Daniela's sister passed her the more, he might be able to take up the case. We're doing good here. You gonna be alright? Yeah. Oh, I'm confident. I'll be fine. Don't worry about them. Go. Oh, I'll be fine. Don't worry about that. This guy ain't gonna pull hey. Shan. He's all tied up. He ain't gonna do Shan. Wait a minute. Still Wait. think I'm making all this up? Less and less. But without proof that Adam's still running around. I can get you proof. No, you can't. You're right. Not like this, I can't. The fuck? You're nuts. He's never going to show his face while I'm on a leash. 
but on my own, I can draw him out. Really? Serve him right up on a silver platter. Even mm. if you're right, Judge Vanstone wouldn't go for it in a million years. But you... What if I were a wire? Then you could keep tabs on me. No. But it could work. No. You're on death row. Did you forget that? For yeah, crimes did. I didn't commit. Did you forget that? Hmm. Look, there's uh, something I may have neglected to mention. Oh, we're all please. sweaty in here. Me. Adam told me that if I were to ever find myself free of incarceration, yeah. he'd reach out immediately. How immediate? So. He'd make it look like I overpowered you. No one would have to know. All right, what do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about this? Hmm. What do you guys think about this? I mean, it might be the only way to draw the guy out. That's true. If we throw this guy back into the fucking slammer, hmm. so that they fucking, you know, do the lethal injection or whatever, um, we may never catch the guy. So what do you guys think? What do you guys think? I'm thinking, I'm thinking of going for it, actually. I mean, I don't know. I am thinking of going for it because remember we had that guy running around. Curious. I cannot believe you're actually proposing this. Yes, you can because you know it's the only way to catch him. I want to catch him. I could take you out in a second. Police it by it. We can make it look real. Prisoner 75422 is requested to be returned to custody immediately. Oh boy. This is Officer 732. Receive a request. Please stand by for confirmation. So how would you find him? Hold on, how would you find him? How would you even find him? I got strings I can pull. I can find him. You just gotta let me. All right, well then do it then, fuck it. Do it. Okay. Well, hopefully she doesn't die now. Yeah, well, it'll work, it'll work, it'll work, it'll work. Hey, time to wrap it up. And then now Becky's just completely dead. Damn, nice legs. Becky. Oh, shit. We need help up here. Now. Yeah, I think it'll work, actually. This is the only way to catch this guy. This might be... Known as the Trapper, has escaped from Silver to feed him. He was to face the final curtain for his crimes. Jonathan Finn was responsible. We gotta buy the guy more time. First responders during a reign of fear five years ago. Officials warn that Finn is dangerous, and any sighting should be immediately reported to the authorities. She's still alive, right? All right. I want to know what happened. I want to know now. And I'm gonna be in Madamadan. All right, I shouldn't have been alone. No, he overpowered me. Yeah, 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 he did. You weren't in the room with him. He's a big guy. I doubt you could have done any better. And why didn't anyone see him leave? Becky, don't even try. This one's on you. Tyrone, this shut up. Goddamn mess, but we are going to stay focused, and we are going to get this son of a bitch back in custody. And I'm going to be a member Dan. the status? U.S. Marshals are initiating the manhunt as we speak. Okay, get out there and help them. Anything they need. Do it. Go get me some KFC. Until we catch a break, I'm going to need you to work in the case files. Polite. Yes, sir. Okay, I'll get back to it. Yes, sir. So. And also a lap dance later when uh, Tyrone's not around. I don't like, I don't like, I don't want him, to, I don't want him to watch the whole thing. What the hell's going on with your partner? Something's just not right here. I can't put my finger on it, but. I may have to give uh, the Will Smith treatment. Yeah. I will. Yeah, it's getting good. Yeah, I like it. It's getting good. It's getting, it started out slow, though, but it's getting pretty interesting. This is my kind of game. I don't know why they showed that. I have no idea. They just showed that, and then we cut to here. Okay. All right, so we're still investigating. Um, hmm. How about we... What do you guys think? You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? You guys will decide this one, all right? What do you guys think? Do we investigate the trapper's first victim, or do we investigate the orderly from Las Palmas? I'm going to take a sip, actually. This game is making me all sweaty. What do you guys think? Slapping will spit out? 
That's right. That's the best style of slap, actually. I think. Now, me personally, hmm. Me personally, I wouldn't mind looking into the trapper's first victim, to be quite honest. Like, that's what I'm, uh, I'm kind of thinking here. The orderly, eh, I don't know. I'm not really into the whole, you know, I think I think the first victim, yeah. The trapper's first. The, beginning. the Undertaker. The one target Finn had no clear motive to kill. Yeah. No apparent connection to Las Palmas. Widow claimed to have no idea why Finn would want to kill her husband. Hmm. Maybe that... five years have given her a fresh perspective. It's I'm certainly possible. She wants to be chatty. I doubt it, but we'll see. This reminds me of a little bit of heavy rain, though, to be quite honest. Just a little bit, though. There are certain similarities. Yellow. Yes. Oh. Miss Johnson, what do you want? Uh, respectful. Well, let's talk about your husband. I'd like to speak to you about your husband. What are you, a cop? I ain't got nothing to say to you. Oh boy. What the hell? Huh? Well, I'm a detective, actually. Yes, ma'am. I'm a detective. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions about your husband. Yeah? Where was y'all when I called at 2 in the morning to get him to stop hitting me? Busy eating donuts. Man? Now you got a lot of questions for me. Maybe now I ain't got time for you. Well, you see the donuts. Right. You gonna tell me exactly what it is you want to know? That was kind of awkward. Well, I'm sorry he treated you like that. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that your husband treated you like that. Sounds like he had it coming one way or another. Yeah, one way or another. That all you wanted? I'd like to know if um, your husband ever used the services of a call girl. <laughs> oh. What are you kidding? He suck his pecker in everything from high price spreads to gutter cleaners. I gave mm. up keeping score. Oh boy. Ma Jesus. Have you ever heard of anyone by the name <laughs> of Adam Jesus? Jones? A kid named Adam used to help my husband out sometimes before he lost his undertaking job, but that was a long time ago. Could this be him? Maybe just grown up a bit? Mm. Mm, well, yeah, could be. Maybe. Yeah. Are you sure? Take a good look. Turn around. Yep. I say that's him. Well, thank you for your time, Miss Johnson. All right, this was beyond awkward, I gotta say. Sounds like he had the same MO as Adam Jones's dad. Kind of awkward, but okay. A little on the awkward side, but all right. Who's taking pictures? Uh-oh, wait a minute. Make sure you get that badonga dong of the shot, actually. Are we back at, yeah, back to the cabin, right? Well, there may be a new clue here. We'll see, we'll see. Nice fridge. 23 p.m. Revisiting the crime scene of Detective Jack Calvary's murder. I'm gonna be checking in the fridge. See if there's any food here to eat. Let's have a look at the bedroom first. Yeah, without the camera, we, uh... Um, ...the place, but... I always have to wonder if the forensic team missed something. Yeah, like a camera falling out of a painting? Oh, shit, hold on. Well, the camera... I know where the camera is. I remember the camera. It's right here. Oh, shit. Fuck. One. Oh, dear lord. Oh, the camera's right there. What the fuck? And then, 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 Only got two of them, fuck. Marks. Did I find the camera? I hope so. On the headboard. From the, um, the origin of the I hope I got the camera. And whoa, I got 449 forever. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, and nanny cams. I got it. I got the camera at least. Hey. Phil took a picture of her mistaking her for John and Dre. That's right. All that explains why the quality is so bad. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I did get the nanny cam bitch. though. That's good. I only missed two clues though, so far. Gotcha. It's just not enough time though. In my opinion, it should be a little more time though. Whoa! Wait a minute. Come on in, honey. Oh, oh, oh! Wait a minute. Oh, what the fuck? Wait a second. Oh boy, wait a minute, oh boy. Somebody's aggressive. Oh shit! 
Damn. Fucking stabbed him right in the fucking neck. God damn. Well, that shouldn't have killed him because he would think with his, with his other head, actually. But, you know. Now, who the fuck is that? Okay, now this is just... That was a huh. snuff film. Dude got snuffed I out. Who's this? That's him! Oh, man, he had a big penne on him. Not bad. Oh, so that's why... Yeah, I gotcha. No, no. Yeah, he wore gloves or some shit? Oh, my God. That's from the orphanage. The same guy couldn't cackle the train. Wow. Well, I never thought I'd say this, but thank God Calvary was one perverted piece of shit. Yeah, fuck that guy. This is huge. Blue movies. Nice, got that silver, nice. Keep them trophies coming. But who was the woman though? Contacts. Who would you like to call? Hmm? Who would you like to scam? Felicity Graves. Calling Felicity Graves. Hey, Felicity? Calling Hi, sexy baby, Asian. Can you meet up? I want to go over some evidence. Yeah, of course. Uh, temple bar? Bar? Great. Temple bar. Mm. What the hell's going on here? Let me suit up. Let me stitch that penne up. Don't worry about them. Oh, dear lord. Oh, not the penne. No. Part two. Hit the box when you're ready to move on. Okay. I like the little breaks she gave, by the way. I like the little breaks, though. I like that. Whew. Okay. Okay. Take a sim. Take a sim. I play it. Yes, I have on this channel uh, even. Yeah, put all of them on this channel. Heavy Rain, Beyond Two Souls, Detroit Become Human. Mm. Played them all. Oh yeah, it's right here. The only one I haven't played is uh, what is it called? Uh, Indigo Prophecy Fahrenheit. I have that one on my PS5 by the way, but I'm never I actually have it installed, but I've never streamed this. So um, we should one of these days though. Anyway, so you have to check out. You have to check on your um. Your uh, your plot here, your plot. It says a mysterious figure kidnapped Judge Vanstone. That was the judge. What the hell? I didn't know. Just assume this was some random guy. Okay, ripple events, uh, confessions. All right, I think we're good to go. Yeah, so that was actually the judge. Wow. Okay. Well, whatever. Let's keep it going. Man, but what was she doing to that poor guy's penne? What the hell, man? Well, we know it's that woman, though. It was that woman, though. Yeah, yeah, the camera. Yeah, it already missed except me. I do own it. Yeah, I bought it a while, a, while, a while ago, actually. But I've never streamed this, so... What do you think? So far, though? Well, I've got it. That's the thing. I bought it for, like, three bucks, I think. <laughs> So I think it might make for, it might make for a good playthrough actually. All right, so yeah, we did Aiden escapes. So we can find Adam. Yeah, and Adam's gotta be that guy. I guarantee you. By the way, this guy's ugly. Holy shit! Whew, ah damn. Okay, so we are good to go here. We are good to go, baby. Let's see him. All right. Well, I'll keep that in mind then. After the quarry, I would now, say. Part three of Hidden Agenda. Part three of Hidden Penny. Well, we can do it after we're done with the quarry, I would say. All right, we're at the bar and grill, baby. Ooh, that sounds good to me, man. That sounds good to me, man. Stay for the beer. Go for the for the grill. The guy on that video in the hoodie same guy i chased earlier yeah Are you sure pretty sure kiss me all right so that's hooker she's working with the trapper why big penne she lures them and kills them and he sets up the trap yeah well it seems crazy but maybe seems crazy but yeah maybe i believe so Ooh, thank you for the for the beers thank you thanks 
Where are the burgers? One burgers. Cheese, cheese, cheese burgers. When Calvary was investigating the trapper five years ago, he had one big blind spot. Prostitutes. The first mm. target. The Undertaker. Met with a hooker the night he was killed. Damn. And now Calvary is killed by a hooker. At least someone dressed like one. And she went for Maybe the neck. The trapper is using a hooker to lure his targets to a premeditated murder site. Could I be. Just, I don't even know what to think anymore. I feel like everyone's out to get me. Yeah. Don't worry, detective. You're safe with me. Oh, relax. Oh, I'll cheer. I'll cheer to that. I'll cheers to that. Now give me some sugar. Maybe the trapper's working with Daniela Cardenas. Could be. She could have been the hooker with Calvary. Could well, be. Cops are all out looking for her, so I'm sure she'll be brought in for questioning soon. Maybe Finn's right. And Adam Jones is the one behind all this. Well, she fought asleep. But if he really is the one doing all this, where is he now? Hmm. You know what? It's pretty late. Let's go to my room. <sighs> yeah. My we advice? Sleep on it. Take all this to surgeon in the morning. We should we should sleep in the same bed, you and I. All right. See ya. No, 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 no. It's not, it's not see ya. You're Hello. coming with me. I found Adam Jones. Oh. Finn? Where are you? I'm outside his house. Yes, he came through. I'm outside his house right now. You already said Wait, that. Where? In town? Yeah. Uh, have you talked to him? I followed him home. He didn't see me. Let's so go. He left his place a little while ago. Now he's just in there by himself. Woman, huh? What's the address? 1712 Alameda Road. Alameda. Let's go, baby. Whoa, what the hell? Whoa, whoa what the hell? What the hell? Uh-oh, I think the beer had a little something in there. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Wait, what? What the fuck? You... You did what? You did something to my beer. Wait, what? What if it's a man dressing up like, like as a woman, by the way? I guarantee you, that's gonna, that's gonna be the big twist. A man that dresses up like a woman to kill. Mickey Finn. Hey, Lana. Check your email now. What email? Well, uh, oh. uh, what about the, what about the pawn? Argument Marnie kills Calvary. Well, more than just Calvary. Play the audio. Cannot believe the mouth on this Marnie chick. Hmm? The fall? We gotta be careful, or she'll blow this whole operation. What'd she say? Threatened me. Us. She's got the big ass, man. Control. She's a whore. Someone's been holding on to that for years. Did you recognize the voices? No. Nah. Should I? It's been confirmed. There are two of the officers killed by the trapper. Look, Marnie's been weird, and yeah, she had motive. She got the big ass, though. She didn't have opportunity. How do you know? She was with me the night that Calvary died. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if she didn't, it'd be one hell of a trick. Wouldn't that be a crazy twist? But no, it's impossible. She got spiked, so, you know. She got trapped, so, yeah. She got Bill Cosby? Oh, yeah, she did. Not the Asian chick, though. Hello, I am Tyrone, and I'm going to slap you. Are you ready? Good to see you again, Daniela. Let me see that pretty face. Resisting arrest? Uh-oh. Somebody's in a bit of trouble. Do you need me to... Oh, oh, hey, hello. Yes. Ben's come clean. We know you want a real hostage back in 2000. She's got nuts? Daniela, you've made some mistakes. Suck my ovaries. But you were a victim. And your sister, I'm sorry about what you both went through. The system failed you. I made you angry, right? Let me just salt you, you right? Make them pay. Is that what Adam Jones said he would do? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you're naked. you do. And it makes you a co-conspirator. Doesn't look good for you, but if you help us, we can help you. Sure. He's the one who set it up. Hmm? He told me what he did to the fuckers who hurt me and AC, but I have no clue where he is. Take that hat off right now. We haven't seen him at all since the arrest. I saw him once. He didn't recognize me. He looked all different, but I recognized him. She fugly. I can always tell from his creep ass eyes. <laughs> Even all cleaned up. Hmm. Cleaned up how? I don't know. He's like a cop doctor or something. He's like a what? 
What are you talking about? Detective Nelson, I need to speak with you. We're Can right you give her a slap and then I'll see you in the office? By the way, man and madame, I'll be there. Not you, though. Don't go anywhere. They're going to hit copy paste on my character model. There's been an abduction. Judge Van Stone. Jane Stone. It says it was Becky Marnie who took him. Oh, it was me? I didn't do that. Trophy echoes. <laughs> what the hell? Echoes of the past. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oof. That beer had a little, a little extra, a little extra spicy mayo apparently. What the hell? Whew. Ah, damn. Not the way I love a beer. Let me tell you. The fuck? Now you be quiet over there. I'm I'm dizzy and disoriented over here. Shut up. I hear a little beeping sound. That cannot begin. Whoa, wait a minute. Rat trap. Whoa boy. He's ugly. Oh fuck. Oh my god. Is this the dark nine? You gotta take it out. Or I'm gonna blow up like in that movie, The Dark Knight. Take it out. Take it out. What does she do to me? What does she put inside me? You got an iPhone in you. The trapper has rigged you. What is it? You have an iPhone. You're. You're. You're rigged. What? Oh, take, no, it no, no, take it out. Take it out. Take it out. It's probably in an enemy. Use your there. mouth or something. Shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. It hurts. Am I going to see a line? He said I was going to see a line. And I believe them. How's your head, Detective Marty? The fuck? Wait, me? There's no escape. You're the trapper, Becky. Shut the fuck up. Who are you? Who are you? Cocksucker. Why are you doing this? Because I don't like you. you. Just come out of this alive, if that's any consolation. Well, I don't like women. I think they're filthy. Very carefully. They're icky. If you will notice, there is a small heartbeat tracker on Judge Van Stone's wrist. Yeah. Synchronized to a cell phone that I have surgically implanted into his stomach. I see him. The phone is just a timer, but every beat of his heart knocks another second off. God, the okay. The faster his heart races, the quicker the clock. I understand. Now, would you care to guess what happens when the numbers reach zero? Explosion! We're all leaving there. We gotta go. Which will most likely include all the police who are swarming in to arrest you right now. And uh, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? I don't like you. I don't like you, Big Badongadong. What's your end game? I want to be in Manamadan. I will be in the quarry. You will see. So what do we do? Jesus Christ. I left your fire on for a reason. Stop the heart. Stop the timer. You can't be serious. You have one bullet. You can be whatever I want. You can be alive or you can be dead. He's got to go then. That's your choice. I'm, the I'm sorry, old man. You got to go. Quickly, what do you guys think? Shiv in the heart or, 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 or do what? I don't know. So what did he say? Are you going to get me out of this? You have to die, sir. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Stay? What did he say? Could you get me out of this, please? I'm sorry. You have to die. Get the gun. Sir Thomas, get the gun. Oh boy, he's gotta go. I'm sorry, sir. I'm really sorry about this. 
You have to die. I never liked you, all right? No, 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 please. There's not enough time. Damn. Well, there you go. Fuck. Damn, I had to take him out. Holy shit. Well, he forced me to. I sent him to Ban World. It's the only way to get the killer. We got to kill that defense, that tied up old man in that room. And what is she wearing? We'll just explain the situation, all right? We were forced to fucking shoot him in the face, okay? We'll explain the whole thing. We'll be fine. Right about that. Up, up, up. Wait a minute. Oh, you just shot him. I was kidding with the whole thing. Five missed calls. Oh boy. DoorDash? It's called Felicity. Felicity Graves. Becky, where are you? We need to talk. I'm being set up. I was drugged. Yeah. I woke up at the Elliott Hotel. <laughs> Judge Vanstone. He was rigged up by the trapper. He's dead. Felicity. Yeah. I couldn't save him. Becky, just stay put, okay? Don't leave the building. Just stay. Well, he did right say. There. He did say he was gonna pop the. Uh, mer yeah, mercy kill. There you go. Yeah. I mean, think about him. He was gonna blow the whole thing up. But if I play it again, I'll try to. I don't know, remove it from the body or some shit. Can you do that? All right, we'll see what happens then. He had to die. It had to be done. What the hell? Tear gas? Becky, are you in hotel? Yeah. You gotta come out, Becky. Just, I'll just bring you in. We can sort this all out at the station. We will just sit down, talk it through. Do I gotta play this again someday? Frustrating, huh? Reluctant. Frustrated, son of a bitch. Becky. Fuck. You son of a bitch. Hi, you've reached Felicity Graves. Please leave a detailed message. If you're a client and this is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. The fuck? Hey. It's me, yeah. I... Um. I wonder how you didn't don't shoot the guy, though. I was just calling. Yeah, I agree with Yeah, maybe. Yeah, who knows? I was just calling to say that... I'm, I'm in love with you. I'm madly in love with you. I'm sorry, Felicity. I'm sorry, but... We can still catch the guy, right? You know, we're not in custody yet. Just gotta find a way out of the hotel, basically. We did just kill an old guy, though. Flee! Flee! <laughs> Fuck it. Damn! We're out of here! Whoa, whoa, no! Man of Medan, no! Freeze, God damn it now! Man of Medan! Don't do it! I'm being set up! I know how it looks. But I'm being set up. You have to trust me. Drop it. Drop the gun. Drop it. Drop the sound machine. Okay. Walk towards me slowly from the back. Oh dear lord. If I flee, he'll shoot my ass. Well, let's flee. Let's see what happens. Oh. I knew. Oh my god, I got out of there. Why well, he just stood there like what the hell? Dude, the sewers, what the hell? 
Dude, this game got re like really good. And he's just standing there like, what is she doing? Where is she? I don't see her. Where she go? We gotta crack hash the guy. Well, at least we got out of that situation, though. If we could catch that guy, we can actually clear our name. That's the thing. That's why I killed the old guy. Because it wasn't me. Okay, okay. Just, just deep breaths. Okay? No. No, fuck deep breaths, Felicity. I'm being set up. And now, now. Now they're going to say I left the crime scene. Yeah, you, you did, yeah. Listen, I'm going to fight in your corner. You know that. But you got to turn yourself in, okay? Becky, it's a no-brainer. You have an alibi. Remember, you were with me the night Calvary was killed. That's true. What if are the old guys? just make things worse. I'm not going down for this shame. I am not going down. What about this. the address we got? Whoa! Okay. Well, there you go. What about the address we got? Chinatown! What the hell? We're going to Chinatown. Movie nine. I got a gold trophy. Did I beat it? What happened? I didn't know. Did I beat it? Or what the fuck's going on here? The game got like really good actually. I, 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 you know, all of a sudden. But yeah, but this is a game that you have you have to play it perfectly basically. I noticed that, you know? The, you know, like the perfect decisions basically. But I did, I did shoot the old guy, though. Yes, I'm kind of curious, though. There's maybe a way to save him? Maybe she grabs, like, a knife from, like, the fucking, you know, kitchen or some shit and just fucking starts cutting him up. I don't know. She does, like, an impromptu surgery on the guy. Earlier today, Judge William Vanstone was kidnapped from his home and tragically murdered. Yeah. Detective Becky Marnie has fled the scene of the crime after resisting arrest. I did, yeah. Officials have confirmed that Marty is considered a suspect in the slaying of fellow detective Jack Calvary. Oh, but I didn't we do that. An unconfirmed report that Detective Becky Marney may have aided in the escape of convicted serial killer Jonathan Finn. Not true. Jonathan Finn has been taken into custody and is reportedly cooperating with the investigation. Sources say he may have played a key role in identifying Hillary as a suspect. Mm. An investigation is ongoing. All Sergeant right. Riggs made a brief statement to the press only moments ago. Oh, no. What did he say? What did he slime ball say? That he, that he was going to be Man Madame? Becky Marnie is currently still at large. But rest assured, we will find her. That's it. I beat him. Justice. Okay. I don't know if Detective Marnie was a trapper. I can't prove that. That's it. Short game. Wow. I know she had motive. Opportunity. Maybe. She had that big ass, yeah. I guess it comes down to whether or not I trust her. Well, I beat it. I've been asking myself that for a long time now. I already told you everything I know. Why don't you leave me alone? I didn't want any of this to happen. She's just some nice makeup when going on. going to bring my sister back. Do you understand? No, I do not. Uh, yeah, well... Marnie covered her tracks like a pro. She yes. was on the force, so she uh, knew exactly how we would think. Of course, yes. There's just no way to know what really happened unless we catch her. What if it's this guy, by the way? And we will. I think it was him. I don't know. I just, it just doesn't make sense. I thought she was onto something. I don't think she's behind this. I trust yeah. You still do. I trust her. There's only one way to know, man. Mm -hmm. Only one way to know. Do you know where Marnie is now? Nah. She's in a cage at my very, place. Very far away. But I want that ass in my face. Oh, I'll well, put it again. I think for, for 10 bucks, it's not bad, actually. For 10 bucks, this is actually pretty entertaining. Mm -hmm. The only issue I would say is the phone. Yeah, use the phone to, you know, to play the game here. But other than that, I think the game is good, though. You know, definitely a game you'll play a bunch of times. You know, trying to basically, um, you know, get all the endings. You know, get all the uh, the good stuff, that kind of thing. Um, but overall, I thought it was good. 
you know, the voice acting was good, the graphics were good. Um, plenty of scenarios to do and that kind of thing. For example, the boot of sewers and all that. Um, I thought it was good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough, actually. I thought it was fun. We, we gotta do it again someday. That's for sure, man. We gotta do it again someday and then hopefully try to save, uh, you know, Judge uh, Vanstone, actually. But I did like it, though. I did like it, though. I thought it was good. I think that for $10... It was all right, you know. I think that super massive games. They think they made something really interesting here, uh, reminiscent of um, Heavy Rain. I would say a little bit. You know what I mean? Let me grab some candy. Yeah, that's true, Julian. Yeah, I I, I think there was gonna be another part though, but I guess not. That was it. You know. I thought for sure getting like another hour out of it, but nope. You just stop right there. What's next? What's next? Well, we're doing the suicide of Rachel Foster, by the way, after this wraps up. Mm. Well, yeah, I knew it was short, man. I looked it up, man. I looked it up on uh, how long the beat, and it said literally two hours. It said two hours. And I'm like, God damn it, two hours. Well, it's 10 bucks. And I said, well, whatever. Super massive. Let's give it a shot. I read reviews. Such screenshots. And a funny story, funny story. When I bought this game and I installed them, I was trying out the, the whole phone thing. The whole phone thing wasn't working. And I was fucking pissed because you cannot use the DualShock 4 dual since that kind of thing. It has to be the phone. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? It ain't working. I have to look it up online, all that kind of shit. I couldn't find anything. Turns out I had the 4G on my phone on. You got to turn that off. The phone has to get it to be a Wi-Fi to the same internet as the PS5. And then once I did that, boom, I was good to go. But for a moment, I was actually terrified. Oh, dear Lord. I just spent 10 bucks on this game. And my stupid phone will not connect to it. What is going on here? So I was able to fix it. Turn off the 4G. And I was good to go. Well, yeah, man. Like, imagine buying a game, right? And then you fire it up and you can't play it. I was thinking, oh, dear, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need a refund for this. You know what I mean? I was like, I'm going to need a refund, man. It ain't working. But I was able to fix it, you know, with the whole phone and shim. And uh, download the app and all that. But overall, I really like that. I thought it was good. This is definitely another run, man. And it's not that long, though. It's actually just fucking two hours long, actually. We, if you guys want it, you guys want it. We can do another run, though, in the future. Because I did like it. I did like it. And, yeah, I made a couple of mistakes here and there. Sure, I'll admit. Um, I missed two clues, and then I also killed that old guy. So I'm kind of curious, though. What happened if you don't kill him, though? I'm guessing if you don't kill him, she probably fucking runs to the kitchen or some shit. And just fucking grabs a fucking butter knife or some shit. And then fucking just fucking starts stabbing him. And then fucking rips the phone out and then throws it out the, out the fucking window. Maybe. Who knows? But I will say this, I will say this, the whole, the phone as a whole, like, it, it's serviceable, but man, I would rather use the fucking, the dual sense or the DualShock 4, by the way. For whatever reason, they released this game, and they never actually, like, updated it with, like, you know, controls and that kind of thing. It, st it stayed as a playlink game, basically. But overall, I liked it. I thought it was good. And yeah, we're skipping. Let's begin anything else. Whoa, what the hell? Somebody buying rat traps. More rat traps, okay. And then more rat traps. Whoa. Oh my god. It's the crazy guy. Now this okay, hold on. I got um So we know who it was that guy, basically. I actually recognized him because he actually dressed up as, as the um, as the uh, the waitress, by the way. Um, I will say this, though. That's kind of a cop-out, by the way, because you fuck up. I, I fucked up. And they showed me who the killer was anyway. But at least now we know, you know, that it was that guy. I actually called it. Did I call it? I called him because he dressed up as the uh, the waitress. But anyway, that was good. I liked it. I'm kind of curious, though. You got, like, a plan for this game? Let me see here. Yeah, you got a plan, which is ultra rare, by the way. But you know what? I liked it. I thought it was I thought it was good. I liked it. 
Anyway, it is time for the suicide of Rachel Foster. Now, I bought this game years ago, by the way. I bought it on sale for like probably five bucks when I had the base PS4, by the way, years ago. And I said, you know what? Tonight, we are finally checking this game out. What is it about? I have no idea. But we are checking it out together. Okay, let me let me just uh, close up the app here. Don't need any more. Cool. I'll turn on the phone, too. Hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough. But it's now time for the suicide of Rachel Foster. So we got here. Hmm. Yeah, and I agree, Edward. It was way too obvious it was him. He was so robotic and shit. Yeah. Wait, what? Explore grooming and suicide. Hmm. Interesting. Grooming, huh? All right. And he was buying way too many fucking, too many rat traps. Now, of course, we got here. We got subtitles. Yeah, we got subtitles. Nice. Controls. We zoom. Floor. Floor. Object them. Object. Map interaction. Dynamo. Microphone. Power Run. Okay. Interesting. Let's do it then. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. What do we got? Okay. I got to observe everything with care then. Cool. I'll do that then. My dear Nicole. What the fuck? It's not. You are the daughter every mother dreams of. Beautiful, smart, and fair. We've been through a lot, and I know things haven't always been easy. But remember that. Dr. Franklin said after your speech at high school graduation. Face with a dragon, one must brandish sword and shield. Sometimes one has to know and kneel before the dragon. That's true, man. I've always thought of you as a scammer. All right, hold on. We're afraid with the toughest challenges. It's capable of, uh, all right. We never talked about what happened with your father. But I tell you a few things for the illness. This illness separates us. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, I'm moving. Hold on. Let me guess. Some kind of funeral. You know, this reminds me a little bit of, uh, um, what remains of Edith Finch a little bit. All right, move it, move it. Come on, move it. Coming through. Come on. Thank you. The affair your father had with that young woman, that young whore, nine years ago, and her ensuing suicide. Broke our family apart forever. Oh, dear Lord. My father no longer exists for me. I can only trust Mama. Interesting. Hmm. Your father had an... Okay. The night... Huh? Yeah, this letter is kind of hard to understand sometimes. I was there. I've always been there. When you dislocated your shoulder the first game, when you sobbed that night in a room you didn't recognize, and when... Nice music. Foundation for... Okay. If you don't talk, you drift upon. That is true. I'm sorry. Oh, so I like the music. Come on, move it, coming through. Get out of the goddamn way, goddammit. Ah, oh, but I used it. I used it to endure pain. I want you to feel in the past once and for all. And that's why I want you to do exactly what I say. Sell our hotel. Oh! We're selling a hotel? Really? Interesting. And you're entitled to him. 
Back there, Nicole. All right. Hired a lawyer. Okay. Mr. Jenkins. All right. How would we? Wait, wait. I need more candy for this. Nothing but rage. What the hell? Okay. Let's end the story once and for all. We don't know how much time we have. I love you, above all your mother. Ah, Sutanog Center, congrats. I actually have that game on Steam, by the way. You know, maybe someday I'll stream it. Whoa, it was a funeral, I called it. Wow, pretty interesting. That reminded me uh, a little bit of uh, Shawshank Redemption, by the way. Oh, some nice driving going on here. Swerving a little bit. Of, <laughs> doing a bit of swerving there. The bad weather crossing Montana is amassing all the characteristics of an atypical storm. Uh oh. The bad turn is proving worse than expected. With above average winds and snowfall, especially forecast for Helena National Forest Natural Reserve. The National Weather Service warns residents to follow all instructions given by local authorities and to avoid all unnecessary travel. That's right. Some concerned meteorologists are comparing it to the storm that hit Billings in 1955 with 42 inches of snow falling over a single night. This reminds me of The Shining. Are we heading into the mother of all winners in Lewis and Clark County? All right, there we are. They said no driving, so no going to no hotel. But it couldn't wait, though. It couldn't wait. Hello, from the snort form. Now pay up, sucker. All right, pretty interesting so far, actually. Kind of curious what's going to happen. How does the game play? Did we make it? Or did we die? We made him. Oh, it's in first person. The smell. That's all I remember from the night we departed ten years ago. The smell. What the hell? Oh, you can run. Cool. It's kind of dark, though. Employees only, huh? Well, I'm an employee. And the storm is hitting hard, huh? Yeah, it is. The door will hold them. Well, yeah, it reminds me a little bit of the uh, the Shining, by the way. The whole, you know, the hotel, the storm, and all that. You know, some similarities going on. Okay. Wait, will this open too? Hold on. Let me see. Nah, dead end. Faded mural. The attorney said to check the office first. It should be just beyond the mountain museum at the end of the stairs to the main floor, if I remember right. Boiler room. That one open. Phone. Okay, I'm coming. The fuck's the phone? Getting louder. Thank you for calling. Please leave a message. Ah, shit. I missed it. Hmm. They just hung up. 911 emergency. How can I help you? Is that Morgan Freeman? What's your emergency? Hmm? Hello? Can you hear me? The fuck? What's your emergency? What's your scam? What's your bigathon? What's your bigathon? Mr. McGrath, hi, it's Paulie from Century Telephone Company. Yeah. 
I'm sorry to bother you, but as but I told we don't you like last you. time, the company requires cutting off the telephone service to delinquent customers. Mm. I, I'm really sorry, Leonard, but my hands are tied. You have to pay the 50 bucks. We have to go ahead. I'm sorry. Goodbye. We gotta cut the phone. Wow. Yes, like yes, yeah, like this. Uh, I saw yeah, Nicole, it's Jenkins, the attorney. The hotel chain that wants to take over your hotel has just dumped a mammoth holy bible of documents on my desk that I need to check through. Okay. I have to personally go to the county land registry office before we meet. Can you like stop yelling? Listen, I know you didn't want to go to your father's funeral, but now the hotel is entirely your property. Yeah. It all requires you to assess its condition before putting it on the market. Uh, Do you understand? Very noble of your mother to want to repay that poor girl's family, Rachel. Not everyone would deprive themselves of such a sum. Yeah. Anyway, it's up to you now. Get to it. I'll bring you a burger you Portland folks can only dream of. Burger? Oh, I, I left you some notes and a master key on the dining room table of your family's old apartment. All right. Start your rounds from there. Give me a couple of hours. Don't run off. All right. We got a map, nice. We should have hired a decent attorney from Portland, Mom, not this potato head. Come on, let's do this. Well, the game is pretty interesting so far. I could have sworn I saw real. Hold on. Not sure why it says real. The fuck? Real what? Not sure. Just as real. Ah, here we go. I can observe shit. Ah, there we go. Well, that's interesting. Pen. Oh, you can observe a pen. Oh my! Look at this. The pen is mightier than the sword. I can observe the cigarettos. These are the lucky, lucky stars. Basically, just pick shit up, pretty much. Oh, look! This is the Leonard's come. No gin in it, though. Alright, well then, cool. So we gotta do them. I gotta go to the master suite, then. Probably, that will be on the second floor, I assume. Ah, oh, nice, uh, nice PC here. One of the old ones. Holy shit, look at that. Floppies, what the hell? Damn. Wow, I haven't seen a floppy in God knows how fucking long. Holy shit. And it was the floppy floppy, by the way. You know, not the ones that are, you know, actually, you know, a little bit hard. You know, the plastic ones, basically. Well, I guess we're going to the second floor, then. Dining room. So we got all that, that's where we got all that KFC, by the way. Mmm, Delicious. First floor, rooms one. Hold on. Yeah, mess suite on the second floor. Over there, I see him. Now, can I find it? We'll see. Suga on the... <laughs> that one open. All right, this reminds me of The Shining, by the way. All the rain going on. All I'm expecting is the elevator. Do the fucking the the shit with the fl the blood. Master sweet. Oh, I found it. All right, cool. So far, I'm liking the soundtrack. It's pretty chill. Absurd. Oh, the testament. Leonard McGrath. All right, that's a lot of fucking text here. I devise and bequeath my property. Nicole Wilson. Jenkins Litter. Claire Wilson. What the hell? Hmm? Okay. A lot of books. Holy shit. 
Somebody likes to read, huh? The Christian power and astrophysics. Ah, oh, no Stephen King? Come on! Give me that Stephen King goodness, baby. Oh, yes. Calculations, of course. I wonder if Phil does any calculations, by the way. Yeah, he does calculations. Yeah, when he's fucking pulling for Hogan. That's the only calculation he does. You know, ever does. Nice place, though. Hmm. Why would anybody sell this? There's light everywhere. I kind of wish there were subtitles for when you see the... Uh... What the fuck? Somebody like the ice hockey. For this life and beyond. Oh, and the collected Dorani Zutras. This is going to be my room, by the way. This is great. Who's this? This is Little Pest Pigs. Now, who is this? Then say, let us keep exploring. My room, my rules. Okay, hold on. This is looking good. God, everything's here exactly the same as when me and mom left 10 years ago. The hell? It's so. Doesn't matter. Quick tour, nothing more, Nicole. Yeah, that that's true, dude. That's pretty much it. By the way, women warriors. 1980. Damn. Nice skateboard. It's pink. Well, somebody really liked ice hockey. Holy shit. Radio. Victims in the last three days. The fuck? The, are ready, but we are for the, intensity of the, the streams are ready, but the whales are not ready. Possible blackouts in the more isolated areas. Make sure your generators are in good condition. Oh, you got him. Instructions to refrain from going out. There's a serial killer out there. Return. Return. John Rambo to the snowfall. Ah, oh, here's the key. This is the manager's key my mom wouldn't give me when I was little. I'll need a master key for the guest rooms, though. All right, this reminds me of The Shining. I'm getting some Shining vibes from this, actually. And that's cool. Somebody really liked ice hockey. Holy shit. Well, we all have our obsessions, right? What is this? Bozo. What the hell? Bozo. What does that have to do with Phil? Boom. Is that in here? Oh, shit. Here it is. What is this? A joke? Yeah. Seven days. Gold trophy. Nice to Hello? meet you. C can you hear me? Is this Miss McGrath? Wilson. McGrath was my father's. Ah. Uh. Uh, this is um, uh, Helena Federal Emergency Management Agency. Hmm? Uh, my name is uh, Irving Crawford. Uh, Mr. Jenkins told me you'd be arriving. Uh, Mr. Jenkins is a very enterprising man. Indeed. Oh, uh, I, I guess so. I, I wouldn't know. You saw so hot, by the way. Oh, uh, right. Any reason for your call, Irving, from Federal... What you call it? Yeah. Uh, I'm calling to assist you during your stay at the hotel. Do you need a pen? Uh, the Timberline is old but sturdy. You'll enjoy your stay and be safe, no problem. Uh, the furnace, wiring, it's all under control. Oh, nice. Okay, enough. What? I don't know what Jenkins told you, but I have zero intention of staying here longer than, let's say, 20 minutes. The storm. Oh. But, but the storm. But, yeah, but, uh, I'm a nerd. I'm leaving straight away. <laughs> Maybe you're not aware. That Thanks for everything. Irving, right? Irving. Yeah. Irving uh, the Nern. Yes. You, uh, Bye. I bet that, but that, the storm. KFC. Okay. Bye. 
Well, I think she must have hung up or something because I'm talking to this thing and I'm not hearing a voice. Huh. This place is a real mess. You probably didn't hear me. I never thought to find anything like that. Do what is the issue here? I mean, if somebody gave me a free hotel, you know, it's haunted. I would take him. A lot of pails here. Oh boy. Nice time. I mean, look at this bathtub. Just for this bathtub alone, I would take in. Just this one room alone, I would take in. All right. Well, we did get the. Uh, we got the key. What was the key for? What the hell? Is there somebody walking around? What the fuck's going on over here? What the hell is this shit? What's all the racket out here? Oh. Whoops. Looks like somebody can't leave. Those, the storm is picking up speed. Hello? Hey, you still there? Yes, Irving? I'm the nut, yes. Huh? Oh, yeah, uh, I'm still here, Miss McGrath. I, I mean, Miss Wilson. When you said this shack was sturdy... Oh, that's what I was trying to tell you before. Uh, around these parts, the weather... How much time do I have to move? Zero. Ah, uh, uh, the snow piles up pretty quick, and uh, uh, some parts over 3,000 feet are already icing over. You're stuck in there, sadly. Uh, you're not thinking of taking the car. Well, obviously, yes. Uh, yeah? Uh, Nicole, uh, uh, listen. Listen to me, baby. Uh, breaks down... We can't come get you. Not even with tanks. Whatever happened to Miss Wilson? Uh, oh, uh, uh, sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, I just, uh, Nicole is fine. That said, thanks for everything. Again. Thanks. But Nicole! Seriously, if you ended up out there with your car gone dead, with 12 inches of snow and 20 degrees below zero, your lungs would collapse in a few minutes. That's right. I remember how things work in the mountains. Luck doesn't exist. As a, a FEMA agent, I have to insist... You know, you're not the first man... Oh, boy. ...to, to do what? To try and stop me. Hey, uh, wait! Bye! I got, I got, I got. What can go wrong? I have a 1986 Dodge. What is up with this woman? I mean, look at this fucking shit out here! She will fucking die. But hey, let's go to the fucking 1986 Dodge! You know, see what's going on with that. I won't stay here a minute more. Okay. No way. The attorney, he'll take care of everything. Fuck all this. Are you sure about that, Nicole? I mean, uh... Storm picked up speed, actually. And there's probably ghosts in here. I'd, I'd rather hang out with the ghosts and fucking go on a fucking storm. You know what I mean? Well, I'm gonna try to make it to the car then, see what happens. What is she thinking? Nice kitchen. We got the freezer right here, baby. Oh, it's a walk-in freezer. Pretty cool. And we got the the muggle lunch. Oh, love that shit. Close it. Thank you. The muggle lunch, baby. But yeah, I love me a good walk-in freezer, by the way. It's probably the best one. You walk in there naked. You take what you got to get, and then you walk out. But yeah, this, this hotel's pretty nice, actually. Looks good. I don't know why she just fucking, you know. She doesn't like it. I don't know what's happening. She doesn't like it. Where am I on the map? That's the thing. Like, what the fuck am I? I don't know where I'm on the map. That's the thing. I've got a map. Yeah, but I don't, the map doesn't see where I'm, I am, though. It's through here, right? Well, I'm going to try to get the car, but I mean, you know. I don't think it's through here. I don't think I've ever been here before, actually. But I did see, like, a way. Hold on. I saw, like, a, 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 a way down, though. Yeah, no, I agree with Liam, then. Me too, man. He doesn't want it. I'll take it, man. I'll take it. I'll show it with you guys. Oh, hold on. I could have sworn I saw. Hold on. This is paradise. 
Like, what on earth is the matter with this woman? Look at this. We got a nice bathroom here. They wrote the word the word pig in here. I don't know why, though. I'm not sure what the fuck this is about. I'm just wrote pig there, but you know. This is a nice place. Nice hotel. Now, why would they write the word pig on the wall there? I got no clue. We got the woman's bathroom here. This wasn't vandalized. It's a nice bathroom, man. I mean, it's a nice hotel, you know. I like it. Got some nice paintings, too. I don't know where I am, though. The map is cool and all, but I don't know where the fuck I am, though. See, right now it says we're in the where? The hotel switch pyre. Uh, I think I see it. Well, I'm going to try to make it a car, then. Oh, shit, I made it. It was through here. This is the entrance. Here we go. Well, it took a while. We made it, actually. It took a while there. It took a while, but... We made it to the vehicle. Very nice. But can we get out, though? My car... Tell me you changed your mind. No. You there? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Uh, it's a direct line. I can't find my car keys. My fucking car keys. I left mm. them on the seat. Wait, what? You sure? Think so. Maybe someone... Someone? <laughs> no. Listen. This office is about 12 miles from the hotel as the crow flies. It's 40 miles by road. There's nothing or no one in between, and that's mm. not a good thing right now. The, car the keys are gone, Damn huh? It. I knew it. Uh, oh, maybe the keys are in your pocket. Wow, that didn't even cross my mind. Thanks, Nern. Only trying to help. Yeah, that was kind of bitchy. I no think problem. it's that time of the month. Uh, the keys will turn up. Uh, the good news is that we have these new cell phones. Uh, cell phones, okay. Uh, radio doesn't reach out there. I bypass the signal to create a direct line through a shortwave sequencer. Mm. It's like a two-way radio station that's always open. Uh-oh. Oh, this place... I vowed to never come back. Listen, I might only be a voice, but remember I'm here for you. If you need me, just call. Seriously. And if Ugh. you need Penne, I'll be there. Fine. Well, the, ke the keys are gone. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna open this up, but guess what? There's no keys. Doesn't matter. Uh-oh, won't open. I can't open the garage door. It's a conspiracy, damn it. What? And the stuff freezes up with the cold. Yeah. I have to get out of here. I'm not sure you get it. Look, I left this place ten years ago. Yeah. I had no idea I would have to come back here, let alone stay a night. What's the big deal? Nicole, I know your story. Everyone in the valley knows it. Whoa. Your father... Rachel. Rachel Amber. That name. I haven't heard that name since I left. Yeah, Rachel Amber, I yeah. I didn't want to be out of line. Don't mention the past. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm sorry. I'll just stick to Star Wars and Star Trek uh, quotes and memes from now on. Sorry about that. But I am the nerd after all. Wait, what? Well, I guess we got some sleep, I assume. We're not going nowhere, that's for sure. The fuck? Hey, uh, found anything useful? No. No. No keys, no garage door. I can't get out of here without freezing. Christ. I'm having a fucking... Probably only for a night. Uh, the conditions might get better tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They might. Uh, look, I'll be on duty all day. Call me when you want. Even just to talk. No. Okay. Oh, thanks, Irving. Talk to Just the nerd or freeze. Job. Nicole? I love you. Yeah. I if I may. What? I love you. I'd like to give you some advice. If it comes with the job... You're safe up there. Just relax. It'll be fine. Uh, okay. Uh, later. Later, uh, Captain Kirk's calling me. See you later. I can't believe it. 
I'm stuck. Shit. Well, great. Now one. Now we, uh... Oh, that's it. Day one. All work and no play makes Nicole a bad girl. All work and no play makes Nicole a dull girl. Yeah, storm is still going, I think. I think somebody's salty. Is there any food? Yeah. The fuck? Hello? You still there? Is that a joke? Yeah. Well, you're improving. Can I grab What's this? Up? Oh, nothing. I mean, I just wanted to say, you got everything you need to have a smooth night. But you should take a look at the main power system. You know, no one's been up there since... Leonard's death. Uh, five days might not seem like much, but the Timberline has an age. Ah. I don't know. When I lived here, I was only a kid. I can barely find the bathroom. Oh, I found well, it. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> like, at least I won't wet myself. Uh. Um, no, I didn't mean... Don't Why? I, don't, I, don't, I, don't. I was just kidding. Oh. <laughs> I just... I'll call if <laughs> I'm, I'm not used to dying of guilt, you know? <laughs> you make me nervous. You give my pee-pee high. Like Captain Cuck. <laughs> well, yeah, man. She's just humiliating this poor nerd. I kind of feel bad for the nerd, you know what I mean? And I can't believe you said that. I cannot believe you said that. I, you guys, you guys know me and uh, and nerds. Actually, I, uh, you know what I mean. When I see a nerd, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, you know, swirly. I'm thinking fucking, you know, fucking choke slammed a trash can. You know, I'm thinking, you know, fucking stuffing them like lockers and shit. You know, I'm pushing them off. You know what I mean? Shit like that. That's what I'm thinking. But this nerd, she's making me think of other things. It's me again, obviously. I could really use a shower. Hot water? Sure. You'll just need to turn on the furnace for the hot water. Oh, my mom never wanted me to go down there, but I loved that place. Full of little spiders. Hmm. A real country bumpkin. <laughs> what are you saying? I was a pest. Now, I think I even forgot how to get there. I forgot almost everything about this hotel. Funny, right? Yeah. People forget what hurts, I think. We got the head and shoulders here. Enough, Irving. Never enough. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, furnaces yeah. are always in the basement. You won't have trouble finding it. Is there more? Is there something else I should know? Food like, in the kitchen. To Bye. Survive. Back to Star Trek. Well, I don't expect a five-star menu. Oh, really? Uh, you could survive for months with what's in the pantry. Nice. Let me guess. Canned beans, right? Oh yeah. Bean soup. Baked beans, potatoes and beans, bean, bean broth, broth. <laughs> KFC Starving beans. Serving suddenly seems like an acceptable option. By the way, where are there cigarettes by the bathtub? But these are Binston, baby. And they get a crush-proof box. Hmm. What do you mean? I could probably destroy that box if I wanted to. Well, we're going to the basement, right? Okay. Well, is the shower going to be in third person, by the way? Kind of curious about that now. I hope so. Like in that Parasite Eve game on the PSP. Yes, that exists. They put literally a shower scene, by the way, in that game. If you play Parasite Eve on the PSP, you get a shower scene. But you need to know how to access it. But it's there, though. And it's in, like, CG and shit. It's pretty good, actually. No. I saw that. I was like, ooh, this is good. We're going to the basement then. I see it. I see it by the garage. Okay, cool. Well, let's get to work. But yeah, this hotel as a whole looks pretty good, actually. You know, a lot of detail in this hotel, actually. I got to say. You got, like, the, the phones and shit. I guarantee they don't work. Pay phones? What the fuck was that? Long distance for a dollar. Oh, boy. That's expensive. You know, to quote the guy from Heavy Rain, that's a dollar. Me, me. <laughs> All right, so at least now I know. Wait, what the hell? Irving. I'm... Are you at the furnace? Nerdy. He's for me. He's down there. Huh? 
What? Uh, who? Old farting ghost. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Huh? Old farting... <laughs> Old scamming ghost. I used to hide down there with hotel guest kids and wait for old farting ghost to Boiler come. Boiler room. Yes. Farting the furnace? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. When Leonard found out, he almost choked laughing. Your father laughed about stuff like that? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's long gone. Oh, that's a locker room. I need the boiler room. Well, I don't think the nerd has much of a sense of humor, actually. I don't believe so. Is it? No. It's by... Yes, it's near around here. Hold on. There's a church? What the fuck? Uh, church. Okay. Well, try to make it a church then. That sounds cool. That won't open. Okay, but it's, it's somewhere around here, though. Does you have, like, handy signs and shit? Boiler room. Here it is. Gotcha. Well, that wasn't so hard. I thought you could read that, but no. Gotta be ran. Red door. Oh, boy. No, no, no. We're gonna turn this shit on. Paint jar. Yo, hello, my nuts. This is actually a pretty good uh, brand of paint, actually. See a big green button here. Could that be in? How's it going? It looks real complicated. It does. Furnaces are all the same. Can you see the control panel? Yes. Uh, I guess. What does the pressure gauge read? A hundred? Huh? The thing that looks like a clock. Looks like 220. 220. Oh. I don't like the sound of oh. Yeah. It should be more like 210 psi. Pressure's building. You saying I have a choice between freezing or blowing up? <laughs> no. Push the green button. It's the starter. Okay. Old farting ghost, you rank spirit. Wake up. Huh? Hmm? Nothing. Just talking to an old friend. Okay, I'll give the green uh the green button a shot here. Let's see. I hope that's it. Whoa, wait a minute. The fuck? Did I do it? And here he is, in tip top shape, I'd say. Shower time! <laughs> you were right. The furnace is haunted. <laughs> we did it? Uh, now you've got hot water. You have can, no idea how great. Can I watch? Just doing my job. It's a busy thing. Not much PhD. Uh, I wrapped up hidden agenda and now I'm uh, playing some uh, The Suicide of Rachel Foster. Hidden agenda was pretty good. I liked it. Well, okay, so now. Oh, hold on. Give me some good news. Uh, just letting you know that the rooms will heat up before the hallways. All right. I just want to go to bed. Did you find a room you feel comfortable in? Yeah, my old room. It's exactly like I What about it. the shower? Leonard cleaned it, but. He didn't touch a thing. Same as you left it. Exactly. How does that make you feel? Eh. Did you psych classes at FEMA? A little bit. Well, just being nice. It's endearing. Just be a nerd. But I'm not 16 anymore. Yeah, how old are you right now? There's lots of other rooms in the hotel. No. I think I'll sleep just fine. Okay. Okay. Where's the shower? I wanna see. So the hotel's actually not that big, actually. I'm actually memorizing the, uh, you know, where everything is, actually. The rooms, you know, the garage, that kind of thing. So I'm actually, yeah, memorizing uh, pretty much everything here. That, that's good. That's good. But, yeah, man. But, it, you know, but uh, it's, it, living is in a place so big, by the way. Irving oh. Crawford, FEMA. Hey. Hey, listen, I just wanted to say... Oh, here we go. I came across as obnoxious... No problemo. <laughs> I get it. I'm used to it. Almost feels they like train I'm us. getting used to being here again. 
Whatever. Forget it, I'm beat, and I'm rambling. No, no, I, from the rumors that went around the valley about when you left the hotel, and all that rush. Yeah? You know? Right, I forgot. The Wilsonian mythology. Hmm. Sorta. Now I'm just gonna chill in my room with the posters of my favorite bands, yeah. playing my old bass, totally unplugged. You play the bass? I suck. I wanted to thank you. Oh. Knowing that I'm not alone here is a huge deal. Can you come over, like, right yeah. now? Well, uh, thank you for, um, listening and not freezing to death in your car. So I owe you my life, then. Wow. It's just... Your job. I know. Night. Well, you know, over Night. at FEMA here, they train us to deal with, you know, bitchy women like you. So, about that shower? No shower, apparently. So, we went through all that for nothing. You're just going to sleep then. Alright, cool. No shower then. Alright, her room is actually uh, this one, right? How the fuck do you. Uh we want you! What the hell? We want you to be a whale. All right, the old room, the master screen. Oh, no, she says, oh, you gotta play the bass. Hold on. Oh, I saw her hand! Yeah, we're gonna see what she looks like, by the way. I'm kind of curious about that. She looks just like Rachel Amber from Life is Strange. Or Chloe. Ah, yes. Day two, baby. All right, all right. Okay. All right, pretty interesting so far. But I'm kind of waiting for that moment where, uh, where it picks up speed. You know what I mean? And I also hope you guys are enjoying the nice stream. It's been fun, actually. You know, checking out exploring games I've never played before. I like that. Morning. Good morning, Nicole. <sighs> Get any sleep? A little bit. I slept like a rock. I forgot my bed was so comfy. Good. <sighs> uh, so, okay. Uh, uh, what? Uh, that pre-stream. Are you snoozing? Irving, Nicole, stranded up here. You snoozing? I was sleeping. After a night of incomplete crossword puzzles, I wish I was. <laughs> Wait, you didn't sleep? Like, at all? No. I thought you might need something and... But, I... You didn't go home? Because of me? I'm in love with you. I'm a workaholic. Okay, well, interesting. So, uh, meteorologists are predicting... It's just that your voice sounds hot. Probably tonight. Uh, you can't move, not just yet. In theory, uh, what do you want to do? Well, primary needs, I would say. <sighs> I'm hungry. I'm going to eat first. We're going to devour. Think about it. It's time for you to take a tour of the pantry. Hell yeah. I could eat a horse. Deal. I could eat a horse right now. The baked beans will be scrumptious. What about crackers? Do any cracker to go with that shin? I want crackers. I've never had baked beans, by the way. Can you have that? I've never had that, actually. I'm not a bean guy. You know, but I did. I do like the. Uh, I do like um, pot of meat, actually, on my bread. I, I love that shit. Nicole. Irving. Uh, how long has it been since someone's inspected the pantry? There's no food here. Inspected. You mean stocked? I just like to know if I should choose between malnutrition and food poisoning. Hmm. There'll be tons of things to eat. Hmm. Oh, yeah, like this, for example, cleaners, Pluto. Pretty sure about that. Well, I'm more concerned about the bacterial world. I was thinking more like mold, bacteria, and such. Uh, you'll see. There's nothing to worry about. I wonder who voices Nicole, though. For a while, I hid an ant farm in the closet. I think Leonard suggested it. 
One morning, my bed was swarming with ants. Oh, boy. I must have freaked out. Yeah. My mother did. The ant farm ended up straight in the trash. <laughs> career as an entomologist nipped in the bud. Didn't think I still remembered all these little things. Huh. At a party? Oh, I gotcha. Well, we did see Phil eating baked beans with hot dogs, by the way. Not a very good combination, I would say. Baked beans and hot dogs? I don't know about that, but... Well, we're at the pantry. But well, where am I full? I remember seeing beans inside of the uh, the walk-in freezer. I remember I made that comment. Hold on. There should be... Moldy food. Ugh. Ugh. There's some food, but it looks moldy. Anybody want to eat this? I didn't expect that. Uh, there's a freezer. Take a look there. Okay. Yeah, the, I was going to say the freezer, yeah, because this is, this is fucking no good, man. A molding pumpkin. There's got to be something in the freezer, though. There's just got to. Here we go. Oof. It's cold, but... Yeah, soup! Bean soup. Muggle lunch. Mm -mm -mm. What the fuck? What happened? Huh? Freeze to death. What the hell? Uh, uh... The hell's going on? Hey. You kidding? The fuck's happening? Mighty, mighty something. Well, we're gonna freeze to death. The fuck? What just happened? Well, uh, I almost forgot. There might be a problem with the fridge door. Just make sure it doesn't close. Are you close. fucking with me? No. Wait, what did I say? It would have been more useful to know that before I got locked in. Oh, yeah. holy shit. I'm a freaking space cadet. You yeah. Are? I could have died in there. True. I thought it was going to be a game over as well. Yeah. Well, we're going to eat then? Dish. Uh... That's dirty. You know? Microwave. Ooh, hold on. I kind of want to see what she looks like, by the way. Maybe at the end we'll see her or something. Who knows? We'll get one of those uh, Square Enix CGs at the end, though, where she, she turns around and you can see what she looks like. Fucking freezer door. Fucking bugged or some shit. All right, we got any cracker to go with the soup, by the way? I'm gonna need a dish, but not that fucking dish. That fucking dish is hideous. Fucking who washed this shit, Phil? Ugh. Disgusting. Is that blood? Mm. Soup. Firewatch, yeah. Yo, Super Yes! We're gonna stream. Sadly, you missed an agenda. Which was, oh yeah, mug lunch and joy bon appetit. Mm, 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 delicious. Show her to me. Well, I can go for another one. Uh huh. Sorry to interrupt your continental breakfast. Uh, I got a hold of Mr. Jenkins, the attorney. Yeah. So when's you getting here? About time. When's he getting here? He tried to make it. His car ended up in a ditch between York Road and Valley. Oh, come on. He called 911 after just a mile. We'll see. Well, I might as well finish the inspection. I can do it without Jenkins. Exactly. Uh, he told me to give you a message. He here, said that you're ugly. He says to... Hmm. This is a swear word, and you don't need to hear it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nicole, at this point, start assessing the general conditions of the hotel on your own. Uh, jot down what you want to keep. I recommend you start with the second floor. It's surely the most damaged. No fine of me. Please, only call me if you've got good news. Well, I was going to tell you I got a big panet, but I'll, I'll tell you later. 
Well, we gotta go to the second floor then. All right. Well, the game is pretty interesting, but what was up with that fucking uh, that door though? That's kind of bizarre. I'm not going back in there. Fuck that shit. Hell, the, the game won't even let you. The game won't even let you. But that's something to keep in mind, definitely. That is something to keep in mind, man. That fucking door, man. There was something going on there. I don't know. Like a ghost fucking slammed that shit door or something. The Overlook. So, yeah. I mean, that would be, be cool, though. Just some crazy person running around here. That would be great, actually. You know, like in the shiny. You open one of those doors. You got, like, some naked old woman just fucking standing there. All right. Well, she said to... Uh, she got the second floor. So, I'm guessing go door to door. Could that be in? Give it a shot, though. We could try that. 104. Hmm. Second floor has stuff like the museum, the attic. All right, so let's just go to the second floor then. But I'm going to need... There should be another ladder though. Hmm. The, the fuck was that? Hmm. That was weird. Oh, somebody dropped something. Huh. I mean, it is a pretty big hotel. It is certainly possible. There's somebody, you know, uh, we got a squad or some shit in here. Could be. Could be. I mean, you never know, right? So I'm going to go to the second floor then. Hmm. Okay. Now I'm looking for a way up then. We need some kind of stair to go up. Oh, here we go. Second floor. Right here. Did you guys hear that noise, by the way? Got a telephone right here, but we got... Uh... Let's check out these rooms first. Oh, God. Getting some Silent Hill 2 vibes here. Yeah, I'm seeing a bit of water damage here or something. Mold. Uh-oh. There's some serious water stains on the second floor. Yeah. That floor is pretty run down. There's some windows missing and water damage. Too. You already knew them? Yeah. Hmm. Museum. Should we check it out? I think the graphics wise, the game looks pretty good, actually. You know what? I want to. I want to inspect this museum. What's in it? And a museum in a hotel? Yeah. It's kind of weird, but all right. Not unheard of, I assume. But still, it's kind of odd, though. The fuck? Nice T pose there, buddy. Hmm. It's way too quiet, man. I don't know. The Indian boss. Yeah, put it down. Yeah, put it down on the floor. Yeah, they get the job done, I would say. Storage. Ben, what the hell? Uncle Ben. Oh, the dynamo flashline. Can I take it? I want to take it. I guess you cannot take the flashline. Oh, this is a uh, cot. What the hell? Oh, yes, the cot bronze. Pretty good, actually. Probably the best fucking brand there is. Can you imagine Phil playing a game like this, by the way? It'd be a fucking disaster. Okay. Second floor looks like shit, though. Maybe try demolishing it. Well, not necessarily. I think that uh, 
That one open. Get rid of the mold somehow, and uh, it might begin. It might work. Or lock it down. Sealed door. What the hell? Here I am. Uh, what's up? The hallway on the second floor is cut off. Yeah. The door to the west wing is locked. Your father started renovations, but you can't he didn't get the bank loan and had to stop. Leonard's attic is at the end of the hallway. His man cave. Man cave? Does that mean something to you? No. I tried so hard to forget about that room for years. Anyway, uh, the west wing is pretty run down after all this time with no windows. So can I Hello? go in? You there? You always have an answer to everything. Yes, he does. Tell me the truth. Tell me something. What are you hiding from me? I have an erection right I now. I don't understand, Nicole. You know how to turn on the furnace. You know where to find food and that the fridge door is busted. You know my family's story and the hotels. It's up to FEMA to deliver the supplies to isolated places like the Timberline. I've been up there with the truck every month since I've been on duty. Ah, okay. Is something wrong? I don't trust you. So how should I have known? How should I have known that? Huh? I don't know. I, I don't know what you know and what you don't know. Uh, what difference does it make? No. I, I don't like you. I... I'm sorry if I upset you. No one can upset me. I better keep doing the inspection. That's right. Inspection time, baby. Can you actually get back there somehow? Hmm, I'm kind of curious about that. Maybe later we get like fucking a chain cut or some shit. And this is the best scene in the house, baby. To do some pooling, son. Well, I guess we're done up here. Yep, we're out of here. Let's get the fuck out of the... What the hell? Hmm? Phone. Who could it be? Yeah. Hello? Um. Who is this? Tell me who you are. Who the hell are you? Rachel is still there. Don't sell the hotel. Rachel? Is this a joke? Who is this? Don't do anything stupid. Fuck you. Now go, Sheriff. You're gonna pay for this lame ass joke. I have a phone, a cell phone. I'm talking with FEMA and I'm gonna get them to call the sheriff. You're not that dumb. Okay, so now we got somebody threatening us on the phone. That's interesting. I should I probably should, I should probably call that in, by the way. Was that the Arkham Knight, by the way? What the fuck? That was the, that was the Arkham Knight, actually. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, man. Well, speaking of the... What the hell? You pissed at me? You salty? I got a different problem. I don't have time to rehash my past with you. I've got a different problem. Someone just called the hotel. What? Who? No, I see what I'm Who gets their kicks out of crank calling me? Well, your word gets around pretty fast. Uh, what did they say? They said Rachel is alive. Don't sell the hotel. No, I said Rachel's there. Oh, idiot. There's something else that doesn't make sense. The phone lines are down. Leonard stopped paying the bill months ago. Yeah. I'll ask someone to run a check. Can you do that? I didn't know FEMA had FBI authority. Around these parts, time passes in a different way. Some stories seem like they've been forgotten, but actually they just sink down. Ginny! Sink down? Like tea leaves in a cup. That's creepy. What do you mean? Sounds creepy. Yeah. That girl's death. Rachel. Rachel Amber. It was the result of painful events, and now it's someone's obsession. Oh, yeah. You talking about anyone in particular? Well, her death ruined two families that everyone looked up to. Yours and Rachel's. Your father, McGrath, the genius astrophysicist. And Rachel's father, the upstanding Reverend Foster, mm. known all over the county. Not something easy to forget around Dude, here. Dude, Ginny, baby! You know I think? They can go get fucked. Every one of them. I know what we went through. No one else. Fuck them. Fuck them! Fuck the haters! By the way, guys, 
genie, super flute here. This is the be oh, I was well, I was checking out the the, the the detergent here. What the hell? I was checking out the detergent, man. What the fuck, man? Genie, super flute. Fuck. How many days on this thing? I don't know, I'm kind of curious about that. This game's probably super short, though. They got video games here? Hey, cutie pie. Daddy? The fuck? Nicole, it's Irving. The fuck? Oh, <sighs> sorry. Huh? Were there sleeping pills in the beans? Must have been sleeping pills in those beans. Since I've been here, it's like I'm literally hibernating. You had a tough day yesterday. I think I had a dream. About? Hmm. Madea. Leonard, maybe. Okay, uh, I need you to pay attention, though. Should I worry? The storm brought down some power lines. There are blackouts all over. Uh oh wait a minute. The lights are weird. Actually, the lights are acting a little weird. Yeah. <sighs> I was afraid of that. I don't like the idea of you up there on your own in the dark. We gotta do something. My electrical know-how is slightly limited. Mine too. It's okay. I can guide you to the emergency generator. If we activate it, you'll be self-sufficient. Where's the hitch? Too easy. Where's the hitch? Uh, there are two ways of getting to the circuit breaker. Straight through the garage's side door, or from the floor you're on. Hmm. But... The garage side door is stuck. You'll have to pass through the crawl space along the entire building and climb down from your floor. Wait, what the fuck? If the power goes out, you'll be completely in the dark. Uh, All right. What do I have to do? What the hell? Just check the closet in your father's apartment and see if you left anything you can use for lighting. Oh, on my way. Wait, I see a flashlight over by the, um, in that room, actually, that she didn't grab for some odd reason. But yeah, look at how dark it is. What the hell? This might work. Like in the, that Saw movie. It's got a flash on it. Any news? I found a Polaroid. Family photo? Anything important? No, I mean a camera. It looks like it works. You want to take a photo of the generator? No, you moron. I was thinking of using the flash for lighting. Exactly. Uh, like, it's, like it's Saw. You can try. I wonder who this belonged to. Leonard, maybe? Some client probably left it. You can't imagine what people leave in hotels. Oh, I could tell you about the rubber friend that Mr. Rochford's widow left here in 82. That's true, Nate. Mayor Linden's kids and I used it as a miniature Indian totem pole for the whole summer. It was a huge scandal. What the hell? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Tell me more. What anyway, are you wearing right now? Polaroid's better than nothing. The light from the flash could come in handy. This is a Shan. I want to equip it. I want to equip it. Oh, it's right. There we go. Yes, I saw. What the hell? Well, I can see a little bit. In. Yeah, this is actually not that bad. This is actually um, kind of creepy, actually. What the hell? Where am I going? I can't access the map, by the way. Hold on, I'm trying. All right, the first floor staff area. Okay. First floor, gotcha. Oh, man, what the hell? Well, I'm going downstairs, then. That's the first floor, right? Hope I got this is infinite, by the way. I hope so. Well, the flash is kind of mad, though. But hey, man, better than nothing. Where am I going exactly? 
first floor staff area. Well, it looks like here then. But yeah, the game got real creepy actually. And I got like weird noises and shit. At least we got light here. That's cool. Yo, what's up, that Legion? Oh, thank you, darling. Thank you. You know, speaking of that game, actually, uh, it, it went on sale today, by the way. It's, I think, I believe it's like 25% off right now on the uh, the PS Store. So, you know, if you guys like that playthrough, I mean, you know, maybe consider picking up the game. I liked it, but I think it was, I, I think it was 60 bucks was too high, though. You know what I mean? All right, the bathrooms are here. They're all pig there. Hold the sham. And I don't know why. But that's good to know, uh, Legion. Pretty, thank you. That's good to know, man. It was a good play. It was fun. It was a fun playthrough, that's for sure. Wrapped it up super quick, actually. I remember that. Is that a crack in the wall? What the fuck? the fuck happened there? Hmm. My first floor staff area. Can you zoom in? You can zoom in. All right, hold on. First floor staff area. Somewhere around here. I'm thinking of going for that flashlight, by the way. You know, we did see a flashlight, right? Could that work? We could probably give it a shot, though. The flashlight, though. We did see a flashlight. It would be kind of silly, though. If you walk up to the flashlight, you can't pick it up. Are you dead? You bought him? So yeah, I'm thinking of going for that flashlight because I know where it is actually. It's actually on the uh, the second floor, by the way. And if I got the flashlight, it's gonna be much easier for me. Instead of going around with a fucking camera, taking picture of the dark. Let me go down here. See what happens first. Hold on. They did mention something about. Um, Something about some kind of a um, hole or some shit. You gotta fucking go through or whatever. Yeah, you know, man. Listen, when the nurse starts talking, I kind of just uh, I kind of zone out a little bit. Where the fuck am I? What the hell? Okay, it's getting kind of creepy, actually. It's getting real creepy. I think I made it to the church. I did. Well, that's cool. They even have, have got a church here. Nice. Sleeping bag. What the fuck? Well, now we know how to get to the church. It's pretty cool, but... I'm gonna try to get the flashlight though. Kind of weird, man. So we got connection to the flash to the to the to the church. All right, well that's cool. But let's try to get that flashlight though.
Oh, the laundry room. Okay, so hold on. I'm in the kitchen, right? Yes. Alright, let's go to the second floor. It's where we find that flashlight. And Dan. Then we try the. Uh, where we gotta go? I mean, it got real creepy, huh? It did. It got real creepy, man. Nothing worse than going on in the dark, let me tell you. Horrible feeling, man. Especially during the shower, by the way. That's happened to me, actually. Okay, let's get, let's get that fucking flashlight, if we can. And it was actually through somewhere around here. There was some kind of staff room, I believe. Sealed door. Somewhere around here. Wasn't it here? Oh, now it went open. Oh, are you kidding me? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? No, you have to go through the museum. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Hey. Okay. Almost there. I think the lights are getting worse. Yeah. You need to move fast. On the same floor of your apartment, in the staff area, there's a small storeroom. Your father asked us several times to fix the lock. Fingers crossed, it's still broken. That's where the access to the crawl space is. What a professional tone. Yeah, I use it when I want to make a good impression. <laughs> All right, we're almost there. You're the only human being I can interact with while I'm hostage here. Whatever flashlight! You say flashlight! Will me. We found it! What happens when I get to the closet? You'll have to go down to the breaker box and switch it on. Gotcha. All right. Doesn't sound like rocket science. Let me get the flashlight. Hurry up, please. You suck at reassuring people. Yeah. Pick it up. Press up to put the dynamo. Whoa, the dynamo's good. Oh, shit. It's kind of... Gotta fucking mash the R2. Should we get that crawl space then? Here? Here it is, I found it. Nice. I found the crawl space. And also a dynamo flash. Dynamo John. I think I just have to push the lever continuously. Is everything okay? Yes. Claustrophobia. When I was a kid, I used to crawl through tunnels like a mouse, but the crawl space seems so narrow now. Maybe you gained weight. What? <laughs> it's called growing up, yeah. idiot. Scrub. It's called not being a midget like you. Idiot. Damn, he took that like a pro, huh? Got the dynamo, baby. Shit. What's wrong? I'm in the dark. I am totally in the dark. I'd appreciate some help. Uh, okay, stay calm. Uh, can you see the bundle of cables above your head? Uh, anyway, yeah. there should be some cables along the. Uh, yeah, I know what a bundle is. Okay, okay. Okay, Easy okay. All you need to do is follow them, and you'll get to the generator room. Don't go any other way. Otherwise, who knows where you'll end up. Perfect. I got the flashlight. Sort of. I got my breadcrumb trail. More yeah, like yeah. my the John's kid animal. trail. Whatever. I can do it. All right. Yep. Easy. Does it. 
Hang out. Do we make him? There you go. Kick that shin. Got the dynamo, baby? Well, was that a hand? What the hell? All right, so I don't think you're supposed to go through here, by the way. Although, we did have the conversation with the guy, though. Cables. All right, let me go back, though. I don't think I'm supposed to be here, by the way. I don't, I don't see anything here. Let's just follow more cables down here. Hold on. I didn't see more of them. I'll follow more cables, then. There's cables over the goddamn place. Even down here. What the hell? Wait a minute. Dude, there are cables all over the fucking place. Over here, then. Yeah, that, that big red cable might be a fucking, you know, might be through here, yeah. And I see, like, something red back here. So it's probably through here. The guy should have said, follow the red cable. Idiot. Oh, we made it. Is that doing? Is that in? Lipstick. Ooh la la. Oh, that's for her now. Uh, what's up? Uh, hi. I, I want to ask you something. Okay. Who does this lipstick uh, belong to? How long has the hotel been closed? Uh, about four years. Uh, yeah, from 89. I mean, did anyone think about doing a thorough clean of the basement? Hmm? Don't know. Uh, probably pretty rushed. Why? I found something. Lipstick. Another Polaroid? A lipstick. Hmm. Uh -huh. Well, that's for you then. Well, can you explain that? Doesn't that seem weird? It's a lipstick? You don't get it. It looks really old. I remember this brand. Yeah? The girls at school used it. Weird. Hmm. What? It didn't dry out. I could even use it now. It's perfect. Well, there you go. Free I lipstick. There you go. Get it. Irving, this brand doesn't exist anymore. It's been, I, I don't know, nine or ten years. Are you sure, though? Strange someone should wait ten years to open a lipstick just to use it, don't you think? Uh, Why are you telling me this, Nicole? You want to get pretty there with the generator? Yes. It gives me the creeps. Are you crazy? Nicole. It's just another one of those things customers forget. Uh, I... I mean, it's just a lip sting. Yeah. You're probably right. What about the screwdriver here? I mean, look at the brand on this shit. They don't make them anymore. What the hell? Day four. Oh, boy. Wait a minute. It just keeps getting creepier and creepier. Yeah, me too, darling. I'll do that, except if it's a like, game I really want to play day one. But usually what I'll do is I'll wait for sales, though. Here I am. Is that her, you didn't Rachel? tell me you knew Leonard. I, I thought we'd been through that. Reporting Let his me orders, finish. Sir. You awake? I spent the night going through sort his of? stuff, and I wait, want what? to know what you think. About what? You get your coffee? You for obviously once. know more what the hell? about the place than I do. I got about what went on here. There's two different... What the hell? Um, okay. What do you mean? Mm. You went through his stuff. Uh, what are there you are two different, um... Someone what? calls me and says Rachel is alive. Then a lipstick appears out of nowhere. It feels like something weird's going on. Rachel is dead. I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to think. It's just that... <sighs> Look, the storm is dying down. You'll be able to leave soon. And oh, thank God. Here. And you can forget about the whole thing. You did 10 years ago. <laughs> what do you care about this old business? It's not worth losing sleep over just to play detective. Well, I'm a Sherlock Holmes fan. Look at it this way. 
I've always had a secret passion for Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes, baby! Okay. Let me hear what you're thinking. If there's one thing Leonard taught me, it's that you gotta listen to what's buzzing in your head. First, it might just be a confusing noise, but if you connect the dots, then it starts making sense. Yeah. And right now, I've got a beehive in my head. Me too. Me too. I agree. Me too. All right. Let's go hunt some bees then. Let's go hunt some whales then. So is this her, by the way? Is this Rachel? That's got to be her. Yeah, Rachel. Yeah, Rachel Foster, 5'3". Green shirt and jeans, brown. I don't know. So she's missing, though. Not dead, though. So it could be she's alive. Who the fuck knows? All right, Leonard's room. Okay. All right, what do we got? Somebody was somebody stuck their hand in, in the uh, the chocolate cake they were baking there. What the hell? Somebody got caught with their hand in the chocolate mix. <laughs> what the hell? Chocolate is damn good, baby. Oh, let's look at the clues then. It's this Rachel body here. Rachel room. Should have just been Rachel Amber. It's suicide. We have her last words. Oh, she was nine weeks pregnant. Oh, shit. Now that's where things get interesting. Where I do? Where are the clues, though? Are those the clues? Are those the blues clues? John Body there. <laughs> Let me keep checking. I'm, I'm missing something here. Leonard's room shed line. Yeah, we're definitely missing something. Like the dynamo. Rachel's still here. I do love the soundtrack, though. The music box. Occult anatomy. Yeah, it's occult, all right. Slander. Lousy pedophile. What the hell? You will pay for what you have done. Oh, boy. Interesting. Well. Somebody sounds angry. I got the pasture, lipstick. Got on this book here. Well, wow, there's more clues over here. Is that a sock? What the hell? Yeah, it's true. I were. It's true. I were that. Ah, oh, another in the back. Oh, come on. Gotta keep the insults going in the back, man. You know, in case they fucking, you know, they flip it, you know what I mean? This is his room, right? Let us room. All right, well. Shit light. It's a shit light, though. Hmm. Could it be? Yeah, we gotta be missing something. We're missing a clue here. Yeah, we're missing something, alright. Mixed name. That's a cool room, though. For wings? I agree with that. That's true, man. Yeah, a little comment he made. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I remember that shit. Window. I 
What am I missing then? Hmm. What about this though? Look at this. Maybe open that drawer, maybe? Whoa, what the fuck is done? Nice. Yeah, I've got one just like this, actually. Yeah. You want another trick for this? You buy it, and then you just uh, take it out of the, uh, the, the package, and that's it. You, you did it. You solved them. That's how you do it. That's literally how you do it. What about this question mark here? What is that about? Yeah, just a big old question mark. That's it. Well, I kind of should just call the guy, by the way. But I can't. Oh, man. Black hole physics. I can just call that guy whatever the fuck you want, but uh, you can't do it, man. I know what this is. Medicines. And then we got this dude, the genie. <laughs> Leslie shows up. <laughs> He's gonna say, lose my whales. All right, hold on. Investigate the clues from Leonard's room and shed light. Well, that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to check the entire room then, because there's something to do here. Puzzle cube. And I cannot check this out for some reason. Pastor Foster. Hmm. You can't open these. The music box. Can't do shit with that. Or check that book out. Yeah, but I can't do shit with the clues. That's the thing. Just check the clues. Yeah, but I can't do shit with them. The far. I'll oh, probably glitch or some shit. I guarantee you. Yeah, it's true, Edward. It's true. <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. Hmm, weird. Let me try something. It could be a glitch here because I'm not. It's not letting me investigate the clues. All right, let me just try it in here. All right, let's see. Hopefully it works this time. Wait a minute, you guys remember the, the glitch? Yeah, that had to have been it. Remember we had two conversations going on? Reporting is ordered, sir. That was in. You awake? Sorta. Dude, it was a glitch, yeah. You forget your coffee? Dude, For that's once, what happened. I don't need it. I gotta talk to you about something. Um, okay. 
Oh, I'm getting more comfortable here. Yeah, you guys remember the glitch where you had like two voices going at the same time? That was in. See, now I can report report the uh, the clues. See. All right, let me try again. Hold on. Now it works. There you go. Here I am. You didn't tell me you knew Leonard. I, I thought we'd been through that. Let me finish. I spent the night going through his stuff, and I want to know what you think. Mm. About what? Damn glitch. You obviously know more about this place than I do. About what went on here. It was when the left, both voices got triggered there. What do you mean, you went through his stuff? Uh, what are you looking for? Someone calls me and says Rachel is alive. Then a lipstick appears out of nowhere. See, now I can do it. See? It feels like something weird. Ah, going okay. On. Rachel is dead. I want to shed light. That's what everyone says. But maybe the story deserves a second pass. There are too many gray areas. Look, the storm is dying down. You'll be able to leave soon and go back to your life. That's right. And you can forget about the whole thing. You did 10 years. Yeah, now I can do it. Look at this. What do you care about this old business? It's not worth Let, let him stop talking, though. Play detective. I want to follow my instinct. I'm not busy at the moment. I want to follow my instinct. I haven't done it in so long, and it feels like things don't add up here. Exactly, yeah. Okay, let me hear what you're thinking. So if now... If there's one thing Leonard taught me, the hell? it's that you've got to listen to what's buzzing in your head. First, it might just be a confusing noise, but if you connect the dots, She's pretty, it though. starts making sense. And right now, I've got a beehive in my head. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go hunt some bees, then. All right, so see, now it's actually working. I'm going to start with this one. There we go. All right, uh, Ra Rachel's death? I found a copy of the local paper, dated December 29th, 1981, the day that the body was discovered. Yeah. According to the forensics report, Rachel had been dead for days. She was nine weeks pregnant. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was the official version. Okay. All right, hold on. Let me just hit wall clues here. Let's see what we get here. Hold on. Uh, friend's story. In this article from a couple years back, there's a statement by some girl who affirms she saw Rachel in a hallway at the Timberline. Interesting. Uh, who's this girl? Uh, a classmate, Glenda Ferguson. Glenda. I tore out the page. I think the magazine was M.T. Woman. M.T. Woman? No, that's a gossip magazine. They would sell their mother, e even their cousins and nephews, just for a bunch of new readers. Yeah, that's true. Well, she gonna be wrong. But she was a classmate. She couldn't have been wrong. Yeah. Rachel fell 90 feet into a void. She can't be alive. How did she fall, well, though? I was the skeptical one here. The strangest gossip of the month. All right, we have one more left here. What about... So, listen to oh, this. Oh, there we go. Graphologists <laughs> Empty whale. doubt the authenticity of the suicide note left by the girl. Who said that? An investigator. Your mama! Journalist. The article came out a year after her death. Do you think it's a setup? Perhaps. Okay. Well, I'll hear you out. Okay, I'll I'll take a lap dance then. All right. So, friend's story. This is, oh, that's her, Glenda Ferguson. I saw Rachel. Oh, in this hotel. Oh, Shan. They saw her in the hotel. Yeah, in a corridor. Ah. But she run away without saying nothing. Our poultry went away. Hmm. Well, pretty interesting, but it could be just other ghosts, though. You know what I mean? She was 16 years old, by the way. So, 16 and pregnant, huh? Interesting. All right, what about this? The newspaper clippings. Shack the entire building's heart. What's that fucking... The fuck's that noise? We're tightening the community here. The Helena High School. All right. 
What about uh, Pastor Foster here? All right, Pastor Foster. You know, I can't stop thinking about Rachel's father. Yeah. Reverend Foster. He was a very strict man. Harsh. Even for pastor standards. He was a freak. He and Leonard spent hours debating the nature of reality, the universe, and God. Well, opposites often attract. Yeah? Do you ever see him? Rarely. He gives a service once in a while. He's alive? He seemed like an enemy to me. Back in the day, I thought he was a kind of reptilian. A reptilian? With a human skin suit. Yeah, like Phil. His daughter's death destroyed his ego. His faith made him even more cynical and lonely than he already was. I can remember him demanding, demanding, demanding total perfection from Rachel. That was insane. Jesus. You don't think he could have harmed his daughter? Hey, no. It's possible. No. But. Even Reverend Foster is a player we shouldn't underestimate in this story. Just saying. Uh, right. I do agree. Yes. I don't trust that old Pishan. Uh, let's talk, about the, let's talk about the book. Let's stay for last. Hey, I found a book in Leonard's things. Let's leave it's John's lipstick poetry, for last. But it's got notes written in it. Did your father write them? What do they say? Dates, notes. It's just a hate nerds. Listen to this. Today I saw Rachel. Or Rachel is sad. Or Rachel says she feels alone. Huh? Kept a diary about her. Whoa. But the book was printed eight years after Rachel's death. Interesting. Do you mean it's like he was talking with Rachel after she died? As if he saw her. Well, I mean, he kept her in a basement. Of course, there's an explanation for everything, and we've got to find it. What if she never died? They just had her locked up in some basement or some shit. Could be. Big hotel. Who knows? Remember the lipstick I found downstairs? Yep, you made a big deal about it. Oh, yeah. It doesn't smell. Hmm? Should it? After they've been open for a while, lipsticks smell really bad. Did not know that. Maybe there's been other women. I mean... I, I mean, I, I don't know. No way! From what I gather, Leonard was a sort of recluse. A and don't forget, the lipstick is really old. Um, could the cold have preserved it? Maybe. Possibly. That's, uh, yeah? Anything else? Okay, I'd say that's enough. Go back to sleep. Yeah, that's enough for tonight. Is she clocking out? Uh, today, or what the hell time is it? You think there's a lot to dig up in this old story? Is she clocking out? Until I know exactly what happened. Maybe, maybe not. Until I know exactly what happened. Any objections? You don't need my approval. You don't Good need job. my pen now. You're getting the hang of it. But sometimes it's better to leave the skeletons in the closet. No. And once they come out, you never know what they'll have to say. It's a risk I already considered. I can handle it. Hard headed like your father. Huh? <laughs> you call me a pig? At least on this one thing. Go to bed. Go to bed. You need it. All right, this day Agent was Crawford, super short. This bit of advice. <sighs> I'll follow it to the T. So she's clogging out, basically. That's it. We're clogging out here. Is she really Dan? Go trophy. Okay. We're just clocking out here. That's it. We did a bit of investigation, whatever. And that's it. We're just clocking out the next day. Man, she's got a very simple life. I, I got to say. She's got a very simple life. You know? Every day is just swell. You know what I mean? Whoa, what the fuck? Hey, cutie pie. How are you? Hey, cutie John. Daddy, Daddy is that you? Huh? Where are you? I can't see you. Huh? You came back in the end. It's like the inescapability of a celestial body's revolution. John, where you at? We can't help but follow certain stars' brightness. Even if those stars have died millions of years ago. Hey, Rambo Pie, how are you? Is it you? For real? Are you real? Whoa. Their light is alive. And it reaches us. 
and those stars are alive and dead at the same time. That's true. I miss you, Daddy. Daddy, where did you go? I missed you so, so much. Where you at? Listen, sweet pea. My sweetheart. Listen, sweet John. Listen to my voice. My sweet penne. It's important. I can't see you. Where are you? Are you that red thing? Where are you? You know how much I love you. You know how much I money know, I Daddy. need. I've always known it. I love you too. Say it again, please. Say the line again, please. I love you. I love you. I love you. Say it again, please. Rachel. 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 Say I love you again. Rachel. Please, don't stop, John. That's, that's day six. Rambo, where do you go? <laughs> oh, my God. It's pretty interesting. I'm getting gold trophies like crazy. I like it. Well, yeah, Hidden Agenda was good. I like that one, but I'm also really enjoying this one, by the way. I like it. Well, somebody devoured. Mm -mm -mm. Look at this. Mm -mm -mm. This game is making me hungry. Morning. Am I interrupting? No. I was eating. Oh. Steak and potatoes, mm. cheesecake, okay. strawberry shake, and a frothy cappuccino. Italian okay. Style. Somebody again. <laughs> so the usual frozen beans. Yeah. Half a serving. Half a serving. The other half ended up in the trash. Are you sure? Uh, I did find. We got tomato right here. Some tapes that were found in the main office. In truth, I shouldn't even have taken them. Huh? <laughs> so what'd you find, Billy the Kid? Pornos are here. I don't think it's anything useful. Uh, wait, wait, where did I put them? What? The pliers, so I can pry the words out of your mouth. Oh. Uh -oh. Sure. Okay, okay. It's, um, it's VHS of the behind the scenes of a TV broadcast. Yeah. But it's, it's all bullshit just to attract an audience. Uh, trust me Jesus, that... you can be really long-winded. I know, right? Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Uh, they're tapes about haunted hotels, nice. weird and mysterious stories, stuff kids like, uh, with these guys who call themselves ghost hunters. Whale hunters. Ghost hunters. <laughs> Did they hear about the old farting ghost? No, I'm no. I'm not sure, but uh, uh, they went on a tour of old buildings in the county, and yeah. they stopped by the timber line, too. Whatever, let me hear it. Where is it? Okay. Uh, but I'm warning you. Oh, he has it. Well, listen for yourself. Okay, okay, the lights look good. The panel looks the good. Headphones. I don't know, there's like a buzzing noise. Listen. Woman. <laughs> yeah, true. Well, the German ones were better. Hmm? <clears throat> we are about to enter a nightmare hotel. A place full of deceit and secrecy where terrible lies were played out. Huh? Nah, I don't like that. I'll be out again later. Yeah, I want to take. Okay, the room with the fireplace isn't bad. Okay. Okay. Spare me the kitchen. I wouldn't know what the hell to say. Fireplace okay. Kitchen, no. What about the bathroom? Stan, you leave all the gear? Room one. Stan, we're going to leave all the Viagra. I need it right now. I didn't get that. What room? I got a buzz in the headset. Damn microphones. One, one, seven. One, one, seven. Danny, what's that stuff in camera? It's it's giving off a glare and burns up. One, one, seven. I told you no tricks. What tricks? I didn't use anything. Stop fucking around, Danny. I told you I didn't rig anything. Danny. I thought too. It's uh, your penegging stuck in my pants. Huh? It looked like the reflection on a mirror. What'd you smoke this morning? What the fuck are you two up to? Cut the crap. You're freaking me Holy up. Holy shit. Uh, there it is. There it is. It's a ghost. ghost. Casper. I saw it. It's just up there. It's like a light, like a door that opens. I swear. Oh, I... Stop touching me or you'll give me a heart attack. What are you talking about? I'm like over here. Fuck. I felt someone touch me. Someone grab my ass. ass. Okay. Well, 117 then. One That's it? Yep. The tape's damaged. Too damn. One one seven. I'd say fucking typical. How ladylike. One one seven, huh? So what happened in the end then? What happened in the end with the TV show? Never aired. Some say they ran off, ditching everything there. Yeah, but they mention a room on the tape. Yeah, one one seven. Look, it's uh, one one seven. I think. I heard him. One one seven. Yeah. Well, these rooms Same aren't so bad, actually. Apartment. 
These rooms are not that bad, actually. They're pretty good. One, one, seven. Well, they gotta be in here. 109, 110. Alright, this is pretty badass, actually. Murder Ice. 117, 117. Here. Hey. I found the room. Yeah. But. But someone barricaded it with an L bracket. L bracket? Do what they do in movies. Bust through the door with your shoulder. Hell no. Real funny. I need a screwdriver. I think I saw one around Ah, uh, I, I know. We, we I got the lipstick. Where? Probably in the basement. Well, we got the lipstick, yeah. Seems to me I've seen one in the garage. Or was it the generator room? I know where it is. I'll let you know. Do you really a screwdriver? Do you use your fucking fingernails, man? All right, but we know where it is, though. We know where it is, though. It was in the room where we got the lipstick. Remember, I made a comment about the screwdriver? So we're going down. Then we're going right back to 117, then. You know, this game is really interesting, I gotta say. You know, I would love to check out more games like this one, actually. It was room. It was in the... Um... I have it. I remember that. Where was it? I recall. The fuck was that noise? Hey, uh, found the screwdriver? No. Well, the ghost said it seems scared. I keep thinking about those guys, the the ghost hunters. Yeah, the scrubs. You sure yeah. It was an act. It sounded so natural. Awesome actors. I'll give them that. I can't stand the idea that my family problems might end up on cable or some tourist guide. Fortunately, it seems that won't happen. They hightail. It's in there. It's in there. God only knows why. Don't tell me you believe in ghosts or some bullshit like Larry, that. Larry, yeah. Well, I'm not superstitious, but. If someone believes that a black cat is bad luck, then you also have to believe that something else is good luck. Yeah? Huh? What are you talking about? Prayer, for example. Oh, no. Well, Father Foster wouldn't agree. Cash for... Uh, yeah. For me, a black cat crossing the road just means he's on his way somewhere. <laughs> is that your line? Yeah. Maybe. No. I don't is that know. your pre-stream? stream that's the idea. Screwdriver. I'm out of here. Screwdriver is actually right here. Here we go. And beautiful. Gold trophy screwdriver. Ba bam. Dude, I'm loving. I'm getting a lot of gold trophies. This game might be a super easy platinum, by the way. Holy shit. You know, I remember back in the day, uh, games like this would not get the platinum, by the way. They would only get like 12 trophies, actually. But then somewhere when the PS4 came out, they said, fuck it. And every single game was eligible for Platinum, if you wanted it, actually. But yeah, back in the days of the PS3, a game like this, no, it wouldn't get a Platinum. It would get only 12 trophies, actually. And then once the PS4 came out, I'm not sure what happened. They just said, fuck it. And they said, what well, you want? They they removed that limit, basically. And I think it's pretty cool, actually, that every game, you know, it's a potential Platinum. I do like that. But yeah, but back in the day, if you if you fire up, for example, Resident Evil 4 on the uh, the PS5 or the PS4, you'll see it says 12 trophies, and that's because of that. Alright, so it's through here. And this looks like a good screwdriver, actually. There you go. That's a, That's weird. The fu what the fu how much do you know about those TV shows the ones about haunted houses I know they're popular a lot of tourism revolves around them did mm. the whole Rachel story really bring them here oh yeah everyone in town knew about her suicide had a bit of gossip oh, so sad to see the place you grew up in go downhill I know so nice sorry. picture by the way Believe me. Is this outside the hotel, by the way? Looks like it. Reminds me of the Bates Motel a little bit. This is the camera from uh, Life is Strange. Obviously. The sport magazine, man. Somebody really likes fucking ice hockey. King of the hell. The new way of climbing. That's right. 
Is this a microphone? What the hell? It ain't no Blue Yeti, that's for sure. Oh, I picked it up. Get equip it? What the hell? What the fuck? We're gonna be doing some paranormal. <laughs> what the hell? All right, that's cool. That's cool. We got that. So let's see. Camera, flashlight, microphone. What are we missing? Broken lamb. Ah, nice bathroom. Hmm. So I got the blue Yeti, baby. I got that blue Yeti, son. Man, imagine that a portable blue Yeti. That'd be cool. It probably already exists, though. I don't know. Exactly, our guess. What the hell? Bottle. Ah, oh, water bottle. Those dumbasses left. Well, no need to call them dumbass, by the way. But the microphone is pretty cool. Hmm. Maybe I'll be able to pick up voices and shit with this bad boy. Like a ghost talking or some shit. That'd be great. You know, saying shit like get out of my room and crap. That'd be interesting. You know, I got a noise here. Well, it's pretty interesting. The Blue Yeti. What about that broken lamb? I'm kind of curious about them. The Lucky Stars. I don't, I don't see why it says broken. It looks fine to me. I mean, we could just literally just pick it up, put it right there, and that's it. It'd be good as new. Oh, a suitcase. Hold on. Can we open this? Kind of curious about that. I guess not. No, she won't open it. Well, I guess it's it for that. What a shame, man. Couldn't open it, huh? Nice pictures. What do you have? This or it's sign. Let's just check the desk then. There's gotta be something. Wait a minute, VCR. Hold on, VHS. What the hell? Is that she? The hell? I don't know. He's always locked up in the attic. You can hear him. Get naked. This is actually live action, by the way. There's that noise again in the headphones. Sounds like someone was talking to themselves. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, somebody's saying loosen my whales over and over again. Did you see his face? He's missing a couple of things. <laughs> Sounds like a woman's voice. A girl. What the? I'll bet living alone in a place like this all winter, he can't help but go nuts. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. Then did you get rid of the interference? Fuck, I pay you to do your job, not jerk around. Now get out of here and lock the door. What do you think I'm doing? It's a mess here. Nothing's working. There's voices. There's voices, man. Cut the crap. I'm going to go have a sit. And if you don't figure it out by the time I'm done, what the, the fuck? fuck? The fuck? What 
Jesus. The hell's going on? That's why they bolted. What the hell? Get the flashlight, quick! What just happened? Fucking cowards, all three of them! Wussies! Weaklings! Oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Alright, that was a live action. Actually, it was very well done, actually. I like them. They saw either John or Howard slowly floating towards them. What the fuck? Okay, well. Things got uh, a little bit creepy there, huh? So what did they see? Well, damn, they, I don't know what they saw, but they fucking both there. Holy shit. He was slowly coming at them. By the way, I'm loving the, the draw distance here. Hmm. She went to the bathroom and then she. I wonder where that hole is. Well, I don't see nothing here. Let me guess. You gotta try to leave the door closes. Or not? You hey. just. Huh. The fuck? For fuck's sake, Irving! Oh, uh, what did I do? You scared you gave me. Give me a heart attack. Sorry. I'll warn you with a carrier pigeon next time. Damn. Ugh. What? That was interesting. I I'm just curious to know what you found in that room. Well, you should be. You're never going to believe it. A ghost. I found a blue Yeti Nano. The blue Yeti Nano. Seriously, it's good, good microphone. I like it. And I hope you guys also like the blue Yeti Nano, baby. Currently, my favorite microphone, by the way. Um, It's good. It's good. It's good. And then Edward says, John and how it came out to the <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? Day seven, but it's Christmas? What the hell? It's Christmas Eve. I still got the microphone. We want you. It's it. Yeah, it's a cool microphone, man. And also, it's only 80 bucks, too. Christmas tree. Where'd this come from? Who put this shit here? You still there? Where else should I be? Home? I wouldn't miss Nicole's amazing adventures in the remote mountains for anything. Yeah? Irving, don't tell me you're staying on just for me. Go. I promise not to get into any trouble for the rest of the night. Get out of here. I already told you. I'm sticking around till you get closure. Thank you, nerd. Thank you. Thanks. Jingle pane. <laughs> the hell? You always do that? Do yes. What? Worry about every desperate stranger that melts. All of the women. All of the women. You're no stranger. All of the girls. Try to tell me something? But I, I don't get it. You love me? You've been a part of this place since you were born. You belong here. Yeah. Well, I thought I left all this behind. Maybe I still have a ways to go. To be free? To be unbanned. progress. Two days ago, you would have skinned me alive if I'd called you a country bumpkin. That's <laughs> right. Maybe I'm sharpening my knives. What tells you I'm not sharpening my knives this very minute? Oh, boy. It's good we're just talking on the phone, then. Yeah, we got Listen, the whole, yeah. contraption really a phone? It feels like a walkie-talkie slash defibrillator. It's a real phone, and trust me, in a few years, everybody will have one. Cell phones? Hell yeah, man. It's easier for me to believe in ghosts than to imagine people and being they'll use it to play games at a PS5. About. I'm... I'm grateful for it. I wouldn't have met you without it. True. Are you hitting on me? Irving? Are you hitting on me by any chance? Yes! Uh, no, what are you? I mean, oh, no, 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 no. Just, I, Relax. Ah. I was kidding. I'm a nerd, you see. 
I can never tell when you're kidding. Yeah, that's how it yeah. goes. It's one of my fascinating virtues. That goes for yeah. everyone. Trophy! Oh, Cutie pie! Sorry. What the hell? Okay. Get a Dane. Oh, okay. Hmm? You have a good night too, Miss Flattery. Merry Christmas. Good night, hon! Yep. Here I am. Uh, to be honest, I never thought it would spend Christmas like this. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Sorry, I was going off on another flashback about the life of Nicole Wilson. Christmas Eve is the right time to reminisce. That's yeah. true. Where's the mistletoe? I get it too. Yeah. That's what there was. In the end, there was like a strange kind of warmth. Where's my phone? Then it all ended. Christmas of 80. Yeah. Me and my mom were at my aunt's house in Billings, and Leonard was here on his own. Let me a scrum. I was pretending that I liked my aunt's sweater. He and she were. Yes. Nicole. They. They. Uh, hey. And a year later, she killed herself. And what she was carrying. They too. were having sex like wild animals. Like there you have it. These are my memories, and, uh... Did you hear that? Hey, did you hear that? No. What are you talking about? Like a... Good night, creeping. John! <laughs> uh, no. I, I don't... Good night, John! Well, I heard Ryan. I want to check. Sorry, I want to check. Uh, Hang on. Okay. We heard something? Well, all I see is this, We want you! The fuck? Man, what is this? Through here? It's kind of dark in here, though. Yeah, I don't think I don't think there's jack shit here, by the way. It's just a shortcut. But apparently, we heard something. Maybe go back to 117. Could that be in? I mean, that was the room where it happened, right? Yeah, probably go to room 117 then. I'll give that a shot. Or check this room out over here, actually. Hold on. Oh, I always want to try my new Blue Yeti Nano. Oh, look at that. I thought I lost you that time the Thompson girl came to play. The hell? Leonard must have found you someplace. Oh, the key's missing. Well, maybe better that way. The music box. I like that now she noticed that music box, by the way. I fucking noticed that like fucking days before she did. What the hell? Took her a long, took her a fucking long ass time to notice that fucking music box. That's on. But yeah, man, this game reminds me a lot of the uh, the Shining, by the way. Like, it really does. Maybe that's what they were going for. You know, give you that uh, that Shining vibe. Could be. Oh, the fuck? Yeah. I, I was thinking about earlier when I said I was happy to have met you. Uh. Uh-huh. I, I just... I, I, I was trying to figure out how to tell you. I, I feel real close to you, Nikki. Mm -hmm. uh, Nikki? I hear myself talk. I sound like an idiot. Uh, let's put something on hold. That's really sweet, but maybe we should put this conversation on hold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call me I later. I'll be there to help you. I'm just a useless voice on the mic. Believe me, right now, I would also like a little bit more presence. You know, uh, get out. Get close in lots of ways. Please, shh, a sec. I'm trying to listen to this noise. All right, yes. I get that I might be overdoing it. Do. So I'm a klutz, and and sometimes it's Irving. Please, shut up. Thanks. Listen, we'll get back to this, but let me figure this out. Where is this sound coming from? I don't hear anything. Anyway, um, later. It's gotta be in here. I'm in with a spot of her, so. Night in here. But it's somewhere in this area. I'm gonna find him. 
I've got real good ears here. In here? Broken. What the hell? Yeah, no shit is broken. I don't know, it's getting kinda 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 soft to the sound though, the noise. I want it louder, goddammit. Through here. It's getting louder. The fuck? I hear whispers. Ghost hunters. Irving, you hear me? Keep those gold what trophies coming. I heard whispers. Hey, sorry I didn't answer. I was uh, Yeah, I was uh, watching some brazzers. Uh, no problem. It's fine. What do you want to tell me? There's some noises. It's this microphone. Sometimes it captures sounds. What sounds? Whispers. It could be a draft in the crawl spaces. Hotels full of them. Yeah, sure. Sorry. I didn't mean to worry you. Uh, heads up, and if you sense trouble, just let me know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up. But I did hear the whispers. That open? I thought that. I'm gonna check over by. You guys remember that locked door with the chains and shit? Nothing here, but that's real. That's real uh, creepy back there. I'm gonna check the museum out. The fuck? Some of this weird room. What the hell? It's a nice room, though. Let's try out a fucking Scarface. Nice room. It's room 204, huh? Get him. That was a shiny reference right there. 204. Yeah, that's the room, uh, room 204. It's actually, the room where uh, Stephen King actually. Uh, there's this hotel in Maine where Stephen King goes to, and when he um, when he stays in that hotel, it's always room 204. By the way, and um, that's where he's written some of his best uh, novels. Actually, I believe it's 204. I, I hope so. Whispers. It's this guy, the Guardian. Cabinet. What about the cabinet? I didn't ask if you have a family or kids. Hmm? Oh, you mean those naked things that pee and cry when you sleep? <laughs> I don't have a yard. Huh? <laughs> oh, my God. The fuck? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I wouldn't mind a small money-eating and diaper-soiling machine, but... With this job, I can't even enjoy Christmas. What the Tuesday. hell? Right. Kids take up time. They do. And I'm not married. You? No. A kid doesn't need a mother to take the food out of its mouth when she sends her incompetent boss to hell. That was autobiographical. Two or three times. So why are you talking about kids? Fine. I'd say we send the order off to the store further down the line, huh? Definitely. <laughs> well, that was awkward. All right, that was insanely awkward. I gotta say, okay? It's getting loud. It's getting loud. Down here. Man, what is that fucking noise? Another blue yeti. Lonely thoughts. Journey in the infinity. The fuck they put away my blue yeti. Don't put away my blue yeti.
It's here! Found anything? I can't hear that sound anymore. It's easy to freak out when you're on your own up there. Pin their thoughts. Well, you're right. Maybe you're right. Who knows, but it seemed so similar to how I remember it. Yeah. Hey, don't think about it anymore. If it comes back, we'll try and figure it Just out. Just go to sleep. You know, for a second, it was nice to imagine that the past could come back like that. We always had a party on December 23rd. Maybe you heard about it? Like The Shining. Pretty well known in the county. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Sounds sexy. You should have seen the ballroom back then. He was packing. I can almost picture it. The last time Rachel's family was there, Reverend Foster wasn't as sullen as usual. Hmm. And your parents? My mother had eyes only for Leonard. Jesus. And he... I saw he wouldn't stop staring at that girl. Rachel. Rachel. She talked and moved with the grace and confidence of an adult. Oh. She wore a dress with a bow on the back. She was so beautiful. Perfect. Oh, yeah? Fuck. It was the beginning of the end, and we were breaking out the champagne. Yeah. Nikki. I... Nikki, baby, so... honey. <laughs> Coming up. Freaking nostalgic up here. Nikki, hush. Well, I, I can't hear that sound anymore. It's gone. I'm going to look around again, and then I'm going to bed. Bed, really? Here. We haven't done Jack Shan. Well, I'm going to bed here. What's up with this crack here? She does, like, something, and that's well. I guess it's time to be in that old dusty trail. Pretty much. That's this game, basically. They gotta get that fixed, by the way. But where would the sound lead me down here, though? That's kind of so bizarre. And that's it. They ain't. They ain't. Bankruptcy. That is true. That is true. She still did more than Phil. I agree. Whoa, wait a minute. Where the church? What the hell? The fuck? Uh Why are we here? And I cannot equip the flashlight. I can't equip Shin. Not sure why the fuck we're at the church though. Part of the dream, I would say. Well, at least we got lights down here, though. It's not bad. Better than nothing. Hmm. Way too quiet. Not sure what's the point of that, but I think I heard water, by the way. I hear water. What's going on? The laundry. We've never been here. Oh, my God. This is great, man. Fucking bring all the fucking dirty fucking laundry here. And then somebody else fucking puts it in there for you. That sounds like heaven. Heaven. I agree, Nate. It, it is. Yeah, it's getting creepy. Creepier, yeah. Where's that ghost at? I'm gonna beat his ass. I'll probably just follow the sound of the water, though. Probably gotta do it anyway. Yeah, I got nothing right now. Not the map, the flashlight, nothing. I right, just follow the water then. Or oh, the wire in this case. Kitchen? 
We'll investigate the kitchen then. If I have to go over to your room, I would say. <laughs> that is true. Spicy meal stains. That is true, man. And also from the from the room as well, where, the, where it took place, actually. You know, the floor, you know, bed, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Kind of waiting for something to happen, actually. It's been way too quiet for too long. Something's got to happen. Up. The fuck was that? All right, let's check out the master. The uh, yeah, master sweet real quick. Right, they hear a noise though. But it happens. Old hotels do that. You know, the older the hotel, you know, the uh, the more chances, you know, of that happening. Or project room one seventeen though. I could do that as well. It's probably M. <laughs> Look who's here. That's got to be Howard. All right, we're going to check that out then. Yeah, it's way too quiet. Murderer eyes. I like that. Anything here? Nothing. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's way too quiet. You know something's coming. Maybe work your way back, though. That could be it, yeah. Yeah, work your way back to where you heard the noise. It's got to be it. Yeah. I'll give that a shot. It's right here. Oh, the auto-tune piano. What the hell? Or not. We made it back here. Damn, I think nobody was there. Dude, what the fuck is going on? It's too quiet. Yeah, it's too quiet, man. I can't equip anything either. Hmm. Let me try the, uh, yeah, the old SPC here. Well, shit. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's creepy. Making me nervous, actually. I think I heard somebody running around. What the hell? You know what? Let's check out the second floor, though. Probably do that. Yeah, I think I heard somebody running over there anyway, so... That's gotta be in. And I wonder what was that calling, by the way, earlier. Yeah, they're not gonna call again, that's for sure. Why don't you go room 204, though? Room 
the fuck was that? 1 open. Ah. I thought it was in. That's no, that's 210. All right, hold on. Let's look for room 204. Here it is. Stink and what the hell? Enough is enough. Nice TV. Old school. Well, nothing there, sadly. We did wake up in the church, though. So I'm not sure what the hell's going on right now, to go on us. I'll then glitch out again. We'll try the museum then. The spicy mail record. <laughs> hmm. Nice map here. Dude, what the fuck? Maybe... Oh, shit. Probably gotta get to the car. Could that be in? I'd give it a shot, though. You know what? We'll try that. Go to the car. From the church to the car. Could be. Well, we'll see. Hold on, hold on. I'll give that a shot. I'll go over to the car. That's got to be it. The, the the car, the exit, the garage. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Okay. And that would be through... Through here. I know this room out, by the way. What the hell? Oh, the arcade room. Dude, we got Street Warrior. We got Fury Road Survivor. Ping Pong. Very nice. Yeah. Mission to Mars. We got all kinds of shit here. Hole in one. It's kind of dark, though, but... This is the game room. Nice. Yep, game room. Cool. Did you find the game room? Let's go. It's got to be it, man. The car. It's got to be in. Or not. I want it open. Dude, what the fuck is going on? I think it might have glitched out again, by the way. I think so. I guarantee you it did. All right. Okay, let's load up again. It probably did glitch out. Ah, let's go again. The man child to Mars. That'd be great actually. I wouldn't mind. Would anybody miss him, by the way? I doubt that. Let's see, let's see. Day A. Yeah, because yeah, it's gotta be. Let's see what happens now. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna press anything. Hold on. We wake up in the church. Right, that falls, right? 
Okay. Lecton. Maybe you have to go to the door here? Could that be in? That one open. Hmm. Wait a minute. There's some weird shit going on here. Let me tell you. No, it's not a glitch, I guess. You have to go someplace. But where? Like, I'm in the dark here. The game hasn't said anything. I can't even open the... Uh... I can't open the map. And zoom in, though. Just show something. <laughs> but I don't think anybody would miss him, though. Why do I hear water down there? Like, this feels like a dream, but the thing is... Like, they're not really telling you where you gotta go, though. It's kind of think about, you know, if it's, if it's a dream, you know, cool, but, uh, you know, give me a clue, though, where I gotta go. So I can, you know, do it. You know, it is a pretty big hotel, though. Yeah. Maybe try the car again. That could be in. Alright, this is weird. This is very bizarre. I'm gonna try the car again once more, one more time. Maybe her mom's car? It's a buggy. Oh, we don't have the keys. Remember the keys? They uh, disappeared or something? Leonard's motorbike. What? Maybe you have to go to her room, though. Could that be in? I'll give it a shot, then. Just go to her room. Could be. Yeah, like I said, it's not telling me anything. Right now. Yeah, the nurse and the nurse not calling, I agree. And you cannot call the nerd. Which I wish you could. And I cannot equip the blue yeti, I cannot equip nothing. Maybe go to the bathroom, the bathroom says pig, could that be in? Hmm. Alright, check out the women's bathroom then. And I did see that, yeah. Dude, a cross? Really? What the hell? Interesting. In the bathroom? Interesting. Dude, imagine one of the uh, your clients doing this, by the way. Can you imagine that, Shane? You, sp you, you know, you spend hours with the client. I don't know. I would have that locked down, actually. Like with a fucking, you know, lock and key or some shit. You know what I mean? That's what I would do. I would have that locked down. Hell no. It's a nice shortcut, though. Hold on, I know that you can make it to her room as well, actually, through through one of these. I'll give it a shot. Let's see, let's see. But this is pretty cool, though. That looks kind of glitchy. Up, 
Tap, 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 tap. And the game has crashed. Wow. Okay. Uh, we got a weird crash. On day A. Now I'm going to put him crashed while stuck on day A. Hold on. Yeah, I was stuck. Okay, well. There you go. Fire to begin, then, I guess. I want to get to the bottom of this, goddammit. I'll try going back to my room. That's, that's got to be it, yeah. I might try that, though. I'll probably try that. It's got to be her room, I would say. I've tried pretty much everything. I'll try going back to her room. Let's give it a shot, then. Grooming, huh? Did Phil try to groom John, by the way? I do believe he did. Well, I don't think I don't think he fell for it though. He didn't fall for the uh, the whole grooming shit. Let's go again. I'm gonna go straight to her room then. The game committed suicide. It did. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to explore the whole hotel like that during that day, but. You know, it would have been nice, uh, you know, I have a little hint. Hey, listen, maybe I should go to my room. You know, Gotta give me a hint, man. Give me a goddamn hint. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Ooh. Hold on. Okay. Just go straight to her room then. Hmm. I don't know. I, I think that he might have tried like a different approach with uh with John actually. And uh, his grooming advances probably didn't work though. I don't know, it's just the feeling I get, but I mean you never know. Alright, go straight to her fucking room then. And don't crash. Don't crash again, goddammit. Me jungle to <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. I mean, that's gotta be it. That has got to be it, man. Well done. Okay, hold on. Master Sween. I'm going straight to her room. Here we go. There we go. Merry Christmas, Nikki. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> it's a little late for holiday greetings, but I expected that. Yeah, well, we made it. That's I, it. I thought you were calling to... Hey, is everything okay? I woke up in the church. Yes. I mean, I, I don't think so. No. What happened? I think I sleep. I think I sleep scam. Like in the old Laurel and Hardy movies? I'm serious. I, I woke up in church, standing in front of the lectern. Yeah. Wow. Does that happen a lot? I've never done no. that, actually. Uh, one doesn't just become a sleepwalker from one day to the next. That ever happened to you guys? It used to happen when I lived here. One time in February, I ended up outside. But no parent leaves the doors unlocked if their kid sleepwalks. 
I never told anyone. Oh. You know, sleepwalking episodes are common in children. Are they? That's not the point. I forgot all about it. Then I come back here and it happens again. If I ended up in that church, maybe there's a reason. Yeah. Sometimes following your instinct is the best thing. The church is scary. I don't want to go back there now. But I'll think about it. Oh, uh, Irving? Yeah? I love you. Merry Christmas. I like I like Nikki. I like that you call me Nikki. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Nikki. Nikki. You will be my wife someday. So I'm guessing we gotta go back to the church. Yep, go back to the church. I call then. What could be in the church? But now we have the equipment. We've got what we need. But uh, I made it to the church. It's uh, kind of tricky. How do you get back there? Well, like, did you call me uh, Philly, John? I like that. I like when you call me Philly. I really appreciate it. Yeah, John used to call Phil, uh, Philly. And that would drive Phil crazy, man. So get back to the church then, but yeah. I kind of forgot the path, actually. I like you call him Madonna. <laughs> oh, shit. I remember how. I'm about to get there. Hold on. Came back to me. What the fuck? Still here? Uh, hi. Uh, I, I was thinking. There really could be a repressed reason as to why you ended up there. Yeah. It's through here. You don't think I'm crazy then? So you've come to the Well, I made it anyway. I made it anyway. Crazy. Never thought that. Well, at least not in this case. Oh, fuck off. Whoa. Hey, language sister Nicole. Hmm? All right, all right. So, if I think about the church, I think about my mother. Yeah? She often helped Reverend Foster. I made it back. She decorated for holidays, did fundraising, and put up booths to involve the whole community in parish activities. You know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, like churning butter. I know what you mean. I think she found gratification in doing what? that. Something she didn't get elsewhere, including the hotel. When we moved to Portland, she quit. Portland, huh? God. I gather you didn't exactly have a high opinion of your mother when you were a kid. She was a whore. Well, she was really busy with the hotel. I was always running after Leonard. He was much more fun than she was, no doubt mm. about it. He was a philosopher capable of calculating the motion of celestial bodies while taking apart and refitting a motorcycle in less than half an hour. Yeah. In the same half hour, she could have audited a business balance sheet. There you go. She does sound uh, boring. A businesswoman. Hmm, no. What I understood later, living in such proximity to her, is yeah. that mom loved feeling needed. Feeling needed, oh, huh? Just community hmm. like ours makes you feel needed, without a doubt. I suppose. All right, back to the church. But the church is kind of dark, though. That's where this comes in. Nikki? When there was a party, my mother always got out the usual streamers and streamers. decorations and stuff. She raced in and out of the church, but I never discovered where she kept all those things. Yeah? Never asked? Oh, a million times. She didn't want to answer. She said they were in a safe place. A real mystery. Really? <laughs> what kind of decorations could they have possibly been? I know, right? Nothing explosive. Nah, she was showing those just that I her ass. Bad habit of sneaking all over the place and forgetting what time it was. There was that huge lady, the uh, assistant cook, mm -hmm. Mrs. Bryce. She used to get so mad. She used to get so <laughs> salty. <laughs> A judicious girl. They promised to reveal the secret storeroom when I got older, but I must have forgotten. They didn't reveal shit apparently. The of the secret storeroom. Ooh. 
Sounds good. So it's the playroom. What are you talking about? The riddle? Leonard was never good at keeping secrets. But he taught me a riddle to get there. Yeah. Can you remember it? <laughs> Incredible. Yes. Oh, something like mm -hmm. down the stairs, watch your step. Uh huh. Don't fall apart or it's your end. Round a corner, turn around. There's your way in front of you. All that's closed can be open to if uh -huh. you see beyond its looks. Okay. But how can I remember it? How Well, you remember the it's... the riddle though. I I wow. Total mystery. Want to play? Now, I read about this. I yes, I need to think about it. I have no idea what it means. I'll I'll call you if anything comes to Yeah, apparently to mind. that riddle she just said they only tell you one single time and you need to remember it for later by the way. So I'll try to remember it, but we'll see. The fuck? You want to play the organ in a church in the middle of the night? Really? Yeah. Of course, why not? Sure. Hey. What are you doing there? Don't know. I think you stayed on the line. Didn't notice. Well, I always love Phantom of the Opera. I'm a Phantom of the Opera fan. It's been years since anyone played it. <sighs> My I think so, Nate. I just read that. I think so. Like this. She adored it. Uh, you should take it with you. I'm doing him a favor. In Portland. Well, I, I, I'll spare you. You're better off listening to a cat in heat than my scales. Well, you can always pick it up again. Yeah. Even if I don't think it's crucial. I mean, playing the organ. The organ is best played yeah, without clothes, right. actually. Tell that to my mom. Essential part of a woman's education, I must admit. Oh, poor mom. She had a daughter that would rather dig for gold at Hunter's Gudge till the cows came home. Hunter's Gudge? I can totally picture you. Uh-huh. Then there was Rachel, who reminded me how useless I was in music. Really? Look how good Rachel is. Look how she puts her mind to it. She doesn't know how to read, but she's got a real ear for it. She's got a real While big I was ass for it. The illiterate artist in the house. If Rachel had been around, she would have improvised Beethoven's Ninth. That's right. She's so perfect. Yes. I'm only just now realizing how jealous I was. Keep looking. Bottle. Bottle do. I see him back. Why are there sleeping bags here? It's kind of odd. Someone broke into the church. Some fucking screwed up camper. Oh, your father left it open for mountain wanderers. God damn sons of... Ugh. I'll have to clean up this mess before Jenkins shows up. You do that. Keep an eye out. Normally, no one's around in this weather, but you never know. Ugh. Okay, okay. Sacred image. What the hell? Kind of dark though. It's kind of dark. What'd you find? The paintings of the saints. I was convinced. The paintings of the rid. patrons. Why? He liked saying that it was more likely to find God in a supernova than in a church. I don't see what he had in common with the Reverend Solomon Foster. They mostly talked for long stretches in between chess moves up in the attic. Mm. United by pawns and bishops, but divided by the saints. <laughs> divided by yeah, everything. Yeah, the dialogue's else pretty I'd good, say. by the way. The doll looks pretty good, I gotta say. You know, it's pretty, very well written. I like that. What about that puzzle, though? Anybody got that? Anybody caught that, by the way? Because I got nothing. But we gotta do it, though. Let's see, let's see. Something about left, and then go back, and then go forward, and then, you know... Go up, then down, and then right, and then turn around, and then... What the hell? Whoa! Butterfly! Won't fall the butterfly, I guess. Here it is! Down the stairs, watch your steps, don't fall apart with your... It's your end. Around a corner, turn around. There's your way in front of you. All that's closed can be open too if you see beyond its looks. Well, thank God for that butterfly. The butterfly led the way. Oh shit. Oh shit. 
What's this area? Should we call the Nern? I don't feel safe. Someone was here. Gold trophy. What the hell? What kind of room is this? Um. Uh, why did they write this here, by the way? What the hell? Uh. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, found the mystery decorations. No, no, no decorations. Is everything okay? I found something. What? I. Why they write Phil's um? It's like someone built some kind of bedroom. Irvin, you there? I would not have put uh, this uh, in uh, here. Yeah. Uh, what bedroom? T tell me. What why are they insult? Why are they talking about okay. Phil here? They're talking about Phil. Uh, there's some windows drawn on the walls. Books. Sheet music. A pink bed. It's like a kid's room. Yeah. This place doesn't make sense. All right, this no is creepy. No one would live down here. Nicole, Nikki, I think you should get out of there now. No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's got to be an explanation. I'm, I'm investigating. Okay, that's it. Uh, now I'm calling the head office in Billings. I'm telling them it's a code red emergency, so they'll have to. Jesus Christ, Irving. What? This is all Rachel's stuff. Understand? It's her room, a, a, a replica. Yeah. Uh, you don't know that. You, you can't know what her room looked like. Everything here reminds me of her. Coconut! Mm, I love that shit! I'm sure I'll find an explanation. But my other hand's on the red phone. Keep it there. My but other don't hooves. make the call. I need to figure out what's going on. Well, I need here. to figure out why somebody will write this, actually. I'm going to write that in there. Can you do that? Can you write the R word in there? No? Rachel's book. Teach me to talk. The speech therapy manual. Hmm? Well, she learned one word, apparently, and there it is. Retainer box. Hmm. Did you get out of there? How on? You know by any chance if Rachel wore a retainer? Uh, maybe. Uh, there was an article saying they hadn't found it at the site of the suicide. I remember. She always made a horrible noise when she clipped it onto her palate with her tongue. Yeah? What does Rachel's retainer have to do with anything? I found a box. It could be hers. Yeah. Why should someone keep a 10-year-old retainer? Maybe they're not just keeping it. Maybe they're using it. The box is empty. Yeah. No way. I, I can't. Let me go on. Let me keep examining this whole shit. Puffle cube. We got books here. Little bit Riding Hood, baby. All right. Well, we know. We all know the story. Key. Hmm. This breadcrumb. Wait, Ram. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. We have to call someone. You have to get out of there right now. No. No. I found a key. It's from my old music oh, box. Oh, the music box! The one in Leonard's room. I'm having a hard time following. If everything in here is Rachel's, then why is my music box's key here? Yeah! I don't know and I don't want to know. Could the twist be the cheese, Rachel? Been in your room. It doesn't matter. How can you be so calm? If someone was in there, he's not here now. Yeah. I need to grab the chance to figure out what the hell is going on, or went on, here. What if there's a twist, though? Cheese Rachel. That'll be interesting. Like, at the end, they show her on the mirror some shit, and it's her. Yes. Nicole, listen. I already know what you're going to say, but please trust me. Get out of there. No. No! No way. You do realize you found the replica of a dead girl's bedroom. This is sick. This is a... a the a... more things get freaky, bizarre, and painful, the more I need to figure out why. Why all of this... Yeah. Oh, figure it out with the sheriff. Once you're out of there, into a safe hotel room in town. Please, just... Listen. A bunch of strange things happened since I got here. Think right. about it. Yeah. Phone calls on a deadline. Old lipsticks that don't go bad. 
Leonard's notes where he says he saw a girl that's supposedly been dead for 10 years, and now this. Yeah, nerd, open your eyes. To get out there. No, nerd. We both agree that saving your skin is top priority. What's right? gonna happen? Every inch of this place, and there's no one. If it's true, you realize what that means. You are, Rachel. What? What are you trying to tell me? Your father. He spent years in there, in total solitude. Yeah. With the weight of his family and Rachel and his <sighs> conscience. Wasn't the kind of guy to just let the past slide with a shrug. You know that too. Who gives a sham? You joking? You're joking, right? You think he did this? Think about it. That room could be an act of love. Distorted, even morbid, but he was yeah. His eyes. How dare you? The fuck? My My father might have had a lot of weaknesses, but surely what you're saying. Leave out that he cheated on my mom. Leave out that he fell in love with a 16-year-old. But Jesus. fucking hell, don't you dare even think that. I, I, he I, would but never I... have built a fucking underground shrine for a dead person. Well, what is this then? What if that person wasn't dead, though? In the end. You didn't spend time with him, but I met him. And I'm telling you. He was nuts. No! I don't give a shit about what you have to say. Wait a minute. I just want you to know that I don't want to listen. You don't want to help discover the truth. Don't call me. But that, but that, but that, All right, you know what? We're going to the music box. And it's damn dark down here. But what if she wasn't dead though? Asshole. How dare you? You don't know shit. You don't yeah, know. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, you don't know shit. Fuck that guy. Finally, a bit of peace and quiet. Oh yeah. Let me clear my head without those incessant phone calls. I'm not a fucking switchboard, for fuck's sake. Switchboard? What the hell? What are you okay. talking about? Let me piece things together. I just found out there's a room dedicated to Rachel Foster in my father's hotel. Maybe with items from her real room. Yeah, maybe. Holy Jesus, that's freaky. It sure some is. Some people think she didn't commit suicide, and some even think she's still alive. Yeah. I have to think it through. What concrete clues did I find? First thing, the, the phone, phone call. call. Yeah, the phone call. They said Rachel isn't dead. Yeah, the phone call, yeah. Then the lipstick from 10 years ago turns up still good. And then my father's various notes where he says he still sees her. If that were true, it might explain the sighting by her friend here in the Timberline. Oh yeah. And What's now her name? I find her retainer box, but no retainer. That room might not be a reconstruction. If Rachel didn't kill herself, Rachel could have lived here. That's what I'm saying. If she's still alive, why doesn't she tell her parents? Unless they're all in cahoots. No suicide, no Timberline money. Yeah. No, 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 I'm just being paranoid. And then, there'd be no reason for her to live in a fucking underground replica of her room. Yeah. My key in the middle of Rachel's stuff. Is it a message? Yeah, where does she fit in? Where do I fit in? Are you trying to tell me something, Dad? Come on, stop talking. I don't want to cut her off. My box with the hockey player. I don't think I have the guts to hear that tune again. But I must. We can and we will. Let's go. And the music box is right here. And now a voice. Darth Vader starts talking now. Says, you are rich. Small metal. Hmm? The 27th of December, 1983. The hockey finals at Missoula. Us against Cold Springs High. Yeah. We won by sudden death after a three-hour game, and I got the medal for the most number of face-offs won. All right. According to the papers, that was the night Rachel killed herself. Coincidence? Coming I think home, not. I barely had the time to pull into the garage, that I was already racing up to you, waving the medal in your face, Daddy. Yeah. I was so happy. But you had other things on your mind. He had ass on his mind. And you and Mom started fighting. 
The voices getting louder. They did, yeah. An argument. Long you fought. You struggled. Down the stairs with suitcases, and Mrs. Bryce tries to stop her. Yeah. Mom's car stays here, and we leave with my Uncle John. Uncle John. I never found out what started that fight. Mom never wanted to talk about it. Are you trying to, Daddy? Well, time to hit the old dusty trail. I called it. <laughs> I called it. I fucking called him. Did I call him? I called him. Yeah, man. Long day, man. Whew, long day, man. Woke up in a church. Had to get the uh, equipment for her room. Then go back to the church. Then find this room. Then go back to the music box. And yeah. Long day, you know. Hey, Nern. Irving. Finally. I'm okay. You're the only one I got. I know. I told you to go to hell. I was dying on this chair. I freaked out. You're right. That room freaked me out. It did, yeah. So, I looked around the entire hotel, and if there's still a chance of getting to the bottom of this story... Then it's got to be behind the locked door on the last floor. That's right. In the attic. We got to get some wire cutters. Has been condemned for years. I know. I'll be careful. Okay. You got, a, you got a mask on you? There are too many things that I took for granted. It's as if someone was putting pieces of my past in front of me to show them to me under another light. Who's going to lean in? <laughs> Who are you talking about, Nikki? My father. Maybe it's my father. Well, uh... In my music box, I found the medal I won the night Rachel died. Dad could have put it there. And if he did, there must be a reason. I know, right? It all sounds insane. The night Rachel died. Maybe I have to start from there. I played in that really long hockey game. But what was going on in the meantime? Mm, yeah. You remember that night, Irving? Nah. I think I was at church with my family. Church? That night we had a mass for the poor here. We held one every year. Dude, what a mess. Hockey, As church. Usual, Mom volunteered to take me to the game, but she was so busy with the soup kitchen that I was afraid she was going to be late. Soup kitchen, baby. I remember while she I was want soup. Around, she said she ordered me to close the mezzanine. You mean the intermediate floor above the reception? What's in there? Yeah. The storeroom. Have you been up there? No, I'd forgotten all about it. Hmm? I'd better take a look before moving on. Oh, talking about the room with the, um, uh, hold on. The mezzanine. The fuck was that noise? Man, how many fucking times? Do I gotta close this fucking door in here? Fucking room 204, man. It's creepy. Find close the fucking doors. Right, the mezzanine. There could be a wire cutter there, by the way. And the mezzanine, that was over by. I think I know where it is, though. Got a pretty good idea. I've got a pretty good idea, yeah. Yeah, over here, yeah. This, this has got to be it, right? The mezzanine? Looks like it, yeah. Storage, call them. Hmm. Kind of dark in here, but we do have one of these, though. Guess I'll open it. I've never been here. I've been here, yeah. Maybe it's another storage room. The mezzanine in the middle. In the middle, the better things find their proper position. What? Let's go back then. Kind of pointless this area. Not gonna lie. Well, yeah, but this is the mezzanine, right? Looks like it, yeah. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. There's no way in hell. No 
107. We got 106 here. What was that noise? The fuck? No, there's nothing here. Unless you have to go down. Let's see. That's the overlook. Alright, let me check out the map then real quick. We need the mezzanine. Wait, there it is. Mezzanine. There it is. Am I... Is this in? Stores right here. Hold on. This could be in. That is the mezzanine. Let me get a sledgehammer in here. That would, that would come in handy. Well, yeah, but I do love how detailed the hotel is, by the way. I love that. It's very detailed. Oh, nice picture there. <laughs> All right, hold on. The only thing I don't like, though, is that I would like to know where I am on the map, though. See, because right now, see, it says mezzanine here. Right there. How do I know, though? How the fuck do I know where the fuck... No, this is the mezzanine. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I believe so, yes. Reception. And then you go back here. NFT? <laughs> All right, so from what I can see in the map, though, hold on. We have the hall, and then behind the hall, you've got the mezzanine. Nice boo. What the hell? Not somewhere around here. The storage room, apparently. Try to find it, then. Ballroom. Welcome to the beginning of your adventure. Not down here. That's the only thing I don't like, though, the map, though. Map should be like, it tell you exactly where the fuck you are. At all times. And then you go, okay, I'm at, I'm at the mezzanine. The mezzanine. In the middle, the better things find the purpose. Okay, well. Alright, so right now I'm in the hall. It's behind us then. Well, we know this is the game room. There's nothing here, actually. And it's too dark in here anyway. Ugh. Mezzanine. Mezzanine. Fuck. Ugh. All right, well, okay, this is the hall, right? I think this is the hall, because the uh, the entrance there, reception, and then behind there's the mezzanine. Well, behind it, there ain't jack shit, though. Okay, hold on, you are here. Uh-huh, hold on. That'll come in handy. 
the mezzanine is right here. This is him. We'll get this shot then. All right, this is new. No, we've been here. What the hell? Uh, that's not creepy. That's not creepy at all. Yeah, I know. That can't be in. We've already been here. All right, all right. The fuck? Okay. Oh, things are getting a little bit creepy, huh? We need bolt cutters, right? It's got to be in. Another storage. Hold on. Nope, not here. Ah. Well, I really thought it was it actually when I when I opened this. Apparently not. Let's see here. Could it be through here, the mezzanine? This has got to be it, yeah. This looks like a mezzanine, right? I hope so. Storage room in here? No, no, no. Maybe this is the mezzanine. There's a storage room. The fuck? There's one storage room right down here, actually. This in? Dude, oh my god. Ugh. Nice cracks on the wall there. I don't understand why the fuck. Can't the map just say where the fuck I am? Ugh. Jesus. Like, that, my life would be so much simpler. But no, I didn't say. We're taking a fucking fucking minute to, to program that actually. Our mezzanine in front. Try let's try going them up the stairs then a little bit. Because the mezzanine is on the first floor, right? First floor. Okay, but yeah, but now I'm here. There's no mezzanine here. Ugh. 
God fucking damn it. Why the fuck? Ugh. Dear lord. Why couldn't they just fucking put that in the map, though? That way, you know where the fuck you are. You go over there, you do it. You know, I don't understand why the map can't fucking tell you where the fuck you are. Fucking... You saw a playthrough, huh? You say EP. Interesting. Hidden door. I have a hidden door where, though? All right, all right, hold on. A hidden door in the mezzanine, right? Is that in? Right, but where is the mezzanine? Is it here? Wait a minute, here it is. I think this has got to be it. Hold on. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. I got it. I got it. I got it. And what the fuck? Wait a minute. Whoa. What the hell's going on here? Okay. It's got creepy. Irving. Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, man. I'm on the mezzanine, and it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. There are mannequins everywhere. They're set up like in a scene. Yeah, a hockey There's stick. There's one with a hockey stick. Wait, what the fuck? That's my stick. Wait a minute. If you're listening to me, whoever set up this representation... That's my camp scene. I think they want to tell me that Rachel... Was killed? But why my hockey stick? Yeah, well, could that be the murder weapon? Hello? Hello? Oh, God, why isn't he answering? He's dead. Irving, I swear, I'm not kidding. This is a huge deal. If you can hear me, it's time to make that phone call. How about we grab the hockey stick for defense, by the way? The fuck? Damn, the ass of this mannequin, though. They've all got the big asses. The fuck? Why is this some real creepy shit? Wait a minute. What if I use the microphone though? Hold on. Nah, nothing. Well, just in case. Let's try to get the fuck out of here then. Where are you, Nicole? It's about time. Tell me where you are. Did you hear my messages? How many doors have you opened, Nicole? What the hell? How many are still missing? Huh? What doors? What doors are you talking about? Keep going. Hello? Huh? Hello, Irving. Keep begging. All right, what's hiding behind the second floor? Oh, right, right, right. The second floor. Yeah, but that door is sealed, though. We don't have anything to break down unless you got to grab that hockey stick. We should give it a shot, though. But that door is sealed, by the way. I have no idea how to unseal it, though. All right, I'm going to try to grab the hockey stick. Hold on. You cannot grab it. All right, well... Let's go over there, then, and hopefully, I don't know, something will happen. You can, you can open it or unlock it, or something will happen. But the game's pretty good. I like it, RGS. It's, 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 it's cryptic, though. It's cryptic here and there, though, but and that is good. I like it. I think it's fantastic, actually. You know, it's building suspense and all that. But it, it can be a little bit cryptic here and there. But overall, it's good, though. I like it. A little bit cryptic here and there, but it's good. Whoa, wait, it's open. What the hell? Well, that's convenient. Okay. 
Now, this gave me Silent Hill 2 vibes, by the way. This part right here. All that's missing is the music. Evidence. Car engine. What the hell? Transmissions. What the fuck is this shit? Wait, what? Hello? I imagine you found my room. Oh, his room! What does all this mean? I'm here. That's a question I've asked myself many times. Huh? What does all this mean, Irving? How far do you want to push yourself? How much can you take? What? Every memory. Painstakingly gathered, every reconstructed piece, every little element retrieved from the dark. A photo, a hairband. Oh boy. A lipstick. It means remembering, Rachel. That's what all this means. Well, what about you? Where do you fall into this? I didn't choose this path. I had to do it. So he was here all along, huh? You're crazy! Now, what do you do? What did you do, Irving? Yeah. These walls ooze with memories. The memories get into the walls. Under the floorboards, they creep into the crawl space. You weren't supposed to find that room. With FEMA. You. Jenkins. You, you never talked to him. Your boss, the phone call, all those weird events. You were behind all of them. Yup. Someone had to bring the last piece of the memory puzzle here. The most important one. You. Me? Me? What are you talking about? I... I... Your father wanted to keep you out of it. I convinced him that only you could resolve the equation, as he called it. The equation? I don't understand. How could you? You will die. Over the last few days, you got a little taste of what it means to dig around in the past. Hunting for memories that scratch away behind every wall in the night. In the night, baby. Hell yeah. We did it for years. Irving! Day after day. After day. After stream. After stream. After stream. Lies. I have nothing against lies. I grew up around... So where lies. are you, Cowan? But now it's time for the truth to come out. Finally. So... Where are you at? Where are you now? I want to tell you a story. Uh, it's a it's a priest stream. There was an invisible boy. Huh? Like everyone, he just wanted to run on the grass, ride a bike, yeah, swim in the lake in summer. Stream some video games, father, make money. Oh, his father had other plans for his soul. His father did things with ass. In his dark world made of silence and prayer, there shone only one star. His wonderful sister. Sister, huh? A heavenly creature that spent hours telling him fairy tales in secret. Hmm. She who told him what a free and strong man he would become one day. And that never happened. He was a weakling. Rachel? She was like that. Free and strong. At the time, I didn't understand her dyslexia. Or what retard meant. Jesus. That's what they called her at school. Oh, boy. But I could hear her cry at night. I wanted to protect her. But I couldn't. I see. One day, that beautiful, luminous creature met someone. A human being that saw her for real. Her dad. My dad. Yeah, dad, yeah. Yes. And I was the invisible witness of what happened. A love. Simply a love. Nothing more, nothing less. But that love was too much. And it would be punished. Oh, Who boy. Who paid for this love, Nicole? I don't know, you? Rachel. Rachel was your sister. Now I remember she you. She just told you. Uh, he just told you. You were too caught up with your hatred, Rachel, to notice the innocent little kid that sometimes tagged along. Why didn't I hate Rachel? I didn't hate your sister. I was just jealous. Doesn't matter. 
Those days are yeah, he's cool, Thomas. I hope that went well, Bubba. How could I have forgotten you? I was raised to be forgotten. Damn. So, what do you want? What do you want from me? You want food or something? The day my sister paid with her life for her love, we all died. Hmm. We make up the history of the Timberline. This guy's creepy. It was a tragedy. But you... Where you at, Scrum? We all got frozen there. In that very moment, in that confined horizon of events. Ah, horizon of the west. Yeah, good game. As you'll understand, as you've already begun to understand. Come to my room. Well, tell me what you want from me. I want to know what you want. Your from me. body. You have to keep going to get to where I wasn't able to go. You will be the new witness. You owe it to us. And you owe it to her. All right, all right, I'll go. Jesus. Talk about pu Oh. Talk about pushing private, huh? Oh, boy. Private room up here, huh? Let's see what we got. Might be a trap, though. She I might die, actually. Probably waiting for me here with a fucking shotgun. Projector. Hmm. Play that. This here we go. A few years have passed since I last used this old tape recorder. I think you were in elementary school. I imagine a testament should start in a poised manner. My dear Nicole, my favorite daughter, etc., etc. Yes. Poised, weighty, serious, irrevocable. That's that the custom. Yes. For asking you how you are. How are you, Nikki? Pretty good. You're probably tired. I can imagine. You're probably gonna clock out. At this point of your journey, the marks and voices of this old hotel will have already whispered all their secrets. Ah, I see. You've kidding. always been good at solving puzzles. In this, you surely resemble more your mother than me. And then he comes out with piano wire. Irving has always been convinced that you, only you, could surmount the fear and suffering that exuded from these hallways yeah yeah we tried we waited we were terrified there were not enough tips we studied we listened we listened to her but all the love in the world wasn't enough to decipher those muted vowels yeah those wide open eyes those tears of light we were out of pictures in your time and space in the here and now I will no longer be with you. I, I like that one, actually. But it doesn't matter. Trust me. It doesn't. I have a new theory, Nikki. Love is. I think so, Ben. Remains. On it the walls. You stand on. Spicy the mayo is on the walls. Hotel. Who are you talking about? In the air about? we breathe. And sometimes it hates. Sometimes, yeah, it hates, you know. It hates those who didn't allow it those who cast it aside with indifference and those who can't recognize it yeah yeah stars still emanate their light even after collapsing right more pictures come on there's a lot of light here there's light in death there's gin in the band i want to free myself of all this darkness i can no longer see the stars i'm tired of surviving in this Limbo. Looks like so, the room for Uncharted 4. How are you, Nikki? For it again. I'm good. Hmm? I will be good. John Spice and Mayo is on the walls. Never forget them. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. That's what Rachel was saying, Nikki. She's here. The fuck? A murderer oh wait a minute she's here huh yeah she's here all right she's she's pissed okay gotta equip this bad boy then what are you saying Rachel come on talk to me talk to me right now are you here that ass Okay. 
Game got real fucking creepy, by the way. It did. Okay, so I like this one. Where you at, Rachel? Ranking. Rachel, what the hell? Oh, yeah, they talked about this. Key. Hold on, I gotta get this then. Claire. What the hell? Key for one. The light of Egypt. Why well, they get a key? Which is pretty cool. Inside Claire's car. Oh yeah. Well, let's do that then. Go to the car then. Yeah, Claire would be her mother, right? I know where that car is, so fuck, let's go. Well, yeah, but this game has been really good, actually. You know, a lot of suspense going on, a lot of mystery. I like that. But, man, why the fuck did you write that in there? What the f Oh, boy. I see that she might be very angry, actually. I'm go... I'm going to the car. Hello. Leonard was a very special man. His soul was big enough to love both you and Rachel. Yeah. I knew my father's soul better than anyone. You were just a jealous kid. Oh, really? Don't you dare try to make me feel guilty. You don't. I just want you to get to the truth. You don't know. So why didn't you tell me about the truth? Yeah. Tell who? The Nicole who thought eating beans was the worst tragedy and couldn't wait to finish this business and run away, forgetting everything all over again? Hell yeah. You don't know anything about what my mother and I went through. But you're different to when you got here. Now you can discover the truth, a truth that otherwise would have destroyed you. I didn't lie to you. I protected you. Well, thank you, but you know. I'm sorry about Rachel. I hated her. Jesus. And I hated my father, but I never wanted it to end like that. Yeah. I understand your pain. Maybe better than anyone. How dare Betrayal, you Betrayal, shame, death. My family was destroyed. Just like yours. How much longer does this pain have to last? Just get to the car. What else is there to know? It'll be over soon. You want the truth. Well, I can't give it to you. I've already given you everything I could. Now you have to tie the pieces together. What does that mean? Yeah. Your father always said we are the sum of the people we take with us. And you abandoned these people. Here, in this place. Enough riddles! Enough riddles, Irving. I'm tired. Me, too. You're the only one who can give a finale to this story. It's time you open the last door. It's time the credits roll. The last door, huh? Claire's car? The trunk. Oh, boy. Here, well, here we go. Pack rat. What the hell? That's it? What'd I do? Is that it? Thought it was gonna be a cadaver in there or something, but apparently not. Well, I guess we did that then. What's in this blanket? Wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it. Uh, laundry room then. Let's see if I can tell you what to do there. And the laundry is right over here. It's somewhere around here.
the fuck? No, it was true. Hold on, it was true. Yeah, it's under here. The um. I've never been here, by the way. What the hell? The ski room. I've never been here. It's probably the exit. What the hell? Like, once you do everything, you probably got to go through there, I think. It's got to be... That's got to be the exit. Yeah. But we have to wash this thing first. Just got to find the laundry room. Which is somewhere on here. I think it's here, right here. Yes. Okay, wash it. Wash it. Here. All right, get the soap. So I washed it, asshole. No one. How could I have forgotten? I... I saw everything. The fuck? I was there. All the pieces were in That's the retainer I see in! A kid's eyes. It was the same night as the hockey game in Masula. Reverend Foster was so busy with the preparations of the meals for the giving to the poor at the Timberline Church. Yeah? And my mother, Claire said that we would get back from the game in time for the distribution. Mm -hmm. She convinced my father to help the Reverend, and he'd come with his whole family. You and Rachel. Yeah? Yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. I can imagine. I couldn't find my stick. I panicked, and I went down to the garage. Claire was there, red in the face. Her look. Her look. Why did he kill her, though? It was just a fleeting feeling. That's why I erased it from my memory. I had to erase it, understand? What was in her look? Tell me what was just in the ass. Her. It was like a... a frightful creature. A... a disturbed, dangerous animal. I've never seen her like that before or after. Yeah? Not even on her deathbed. Jesus. Then what happened? And then she put her hands on her hips, exhausted. She smiled. And there she was again, my mom. I thought it must have just been the impression of a moment. I had the finals against Cold Springs High awaiting me. Yeah. I climbed in the car, throwing my bag into the back seat. My hockey stick was there. She cleaned it. Claire said she'd cleaned it. She, she took all the red stains out. Go on. No. Keep talking. I, I don't. Go, Go on. Tell the story. We, we got there on time and I played. Best game of my life. Uh-huh. And the last. Claire was on the bleachers encouraging me and cheering. Yes. And then I lost sight of her. For two whole periods, I think. Two whole periods. And later, when I asked, she said she'd moved because Marty O'Donagall's father was getting on her nerves. But it wasn't true. Go on. Just enough time to go back to the car. Exactly. Say, Irving, don't say it. Don't say a thing. I, I don't. Damn. <laughs> the truth. I traveled all the way. With Rachel's body and the baby she carried inside of her in the trunk, rolled in the blanket. God. Jesus. Oh, my God. She killed Rachel. She did with a hockey stick, yeah. Thank you, Nikki. Now you may go. You may clock out now. You've had your revenge. I hope all this gives you the peace you were looking for. 
I wanted Dust. you to help me uncover the truth. You're saying you didn't know that Claire? I was only a kid. Man. But she never wanted me to get to the bottom of it. Pretty intense. Rachel is is here. Her spirit, yes. You know, I I think she's still protecting me. But I'm grown up now. Now we can all be reunited at last. I've got a knife and what? I'm coming for you. Wait, where are you going? Listen, we can work things out. What happened is terrible, but all the main players in this story are dead. Get it? Dead. Yeah. We are still alive. We're alive. Me. You. We, we didn't do anything. Yeah, we have That's a clock exactly now. That's exactly what we did wrong, Nicole. We didn't do anything. It's beautiful here. Rachel told me about it so many times, but <laughs> I never thought it was so beautiful. Where are you? What? Irving. Where you at, nerd? Where are you? It's wide as far as the eye can see. Beyond the mountain. I'm coming for you. You, you left the hotel? But it's too cold. You'll, you'll die out there. Irving, please. Get back inside. I've lived in the dark for years. You freed me. And now I can finally rest in the light. I can... And go back to her. Nerd, Don't no! Go. You, you can't. Don't leave me, too. We have our drink. It's not a goodbye, my tough, pragmatic, stubborn Nikki. We'll meet again. In another time. Jesus. Beyond this horizon. We will see each other in Horizon in the West. Everything. Oh dear lord. He clocked out. Irving. Irving. Nerd. Nerd. Nerdy. Nerdy. I, I don't want to stay alone here. I. I. Everything seems to be becoming dark. I'm scared. I'm. Shit, now one. Uh, who's the there? fuck? Did somebody. What the hell? Rachel, is that you? What the hell? Up. Alone. Is that how it ends? The fuck? Can I pick up the phone? Oh, here we go. Hmm. Yes? Nicole, it's me, Jenkins, the attorney. Finally, I can get through. You don't know how many times I tried. Yeah? I can't hear you. The connection's bad. How are you? I was really worried about the storm. Oh, the nerds and here. Great. I'm glad. You sure you, you sound weird. I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. Oh? What? No, I didn't hear them. Come again? What do you say? I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. You've been really nice. Your job is done. Thanks. She sounds robotic. Oh, well, I see. Well, you're the owner, and you got every right to decide. But maybe we should talk about it in person. I want to understand. This kind of decision... I'm back home. And I have to stay here. Forever. What the hell? Goodbye. Wait a sec, let's talk. Also my fee? What the hell? Also my fee? What the hell? What fee? Hell no, I'm not gonna pay shit. You know, Mom, I was thinking about going to the lake. The lake? 
Remember when we went with Uncle John last year? Uncle John Rambo? Daddy and I started talking about the stars. You can't see them during the day. But they're always there. Who the fuck are you talking to? I would so like it. Let's go to the lake, yeah. And we can have dinner at Doc Smith's diner on the bank. Mmm, delicious. Rachel and Irving could come with us? What do you think? It would be so nice to be all together. Yeah, all of us, yeah. Mom, Dad. We can go to KFC in heaven. Nice. Wait, I did all that you asked me. What the fuck? What the hell? Stop it, please. Anger shouldn't rule our life. I said that. I'm scared. I don't know what the hell's happening. I can't do anything else, by the way. Oh shit, no! It's getting dark. <coughs> I can't see the light. Oh my god. I did not see this. Turn off, turn off! <coughs> All together again. But I did turn it off, though. I turned it off. I'll stay here with you, Daddy. Mom, we'll bring back the Timberline to its fortune together. We will be happy. Man. All together. Great game. Yes. Like a whole family. Yeah, exactly. No more anger. No more tips. No more streams. Man, this game is great. Wow, I really like them. I thought it was fantastic to be quite honest. I um you know, it was it was deep, it was mysterious, um, it was suspenseful. Um overall pretty good, I like them. A little bit cryptic here and there. But overall, fantastic. I, I recommend it. It's good. And I'm kinda The hell? Huh? Sometimes I hold your pen there, but only in my dreams. Sometimes I put it in my mouth, but then I wake up. Sometimes, I follow you, but only Sometimes you hide your pen in my tanks, but then I wake up. But overall, the game is great. I like them. It was good. I am so glad I got to stream. But thank you guys for joining me for this, actually. I bought this game. I shit you not. Two years ago on sale. Saying as I'll stream it someday, I'll stream it someday, I'll stream it someday. Well, that day was today, and I really enjoyed it. I liked it. I thought it was fantastic. It was a good game. I liked it. I recommend it. Squeeze banana. And also, I gotta say, the voice acting was really good, by the way. I liked it. Sometimes I have pen spasm me all over my face and in my mouth. But then I wake up and it's just drool from me. But overall, I really, really liked it. I thought it was fantastic. Better than Hidden Agenda? I would say yeah, because, you know, I, I could use the fucking dual sense. You know what I mean? Um, Hidden Agenda was also good. I really liked it. Um... But it's too short, two hours. And, dude, the whole phone thing, you know I mean? You got to do phone, you know, whatever. Yeah, that the whole phone thing got kind of out, though, to cut on it. The phone would have been optional for an agenda, and it was maybe one extra hour long. I would have put that one over this one. But this one, I thought was better. You know what I mean? Um, but I think that production-wise, quality-wise, uh, um, that was superior, though. You know, that one had, like, care models and that kind of shit. But uh, this one, they got the job done. And I like them. I really like them. And some of the themes they touch on this game, you know what I mean? Like grooming and that kind of thing. A suicide. Like, it was good. I liked it. I'm kind of curious, though. What do you have to do to get the platinum? 
kind of curious about that. That's it. I did it. I beat him. I thought this was fantastic. I thought it was really, really good. All right. What do you got to do for the Platinum, though? I'm kind of curious, though. No, it's an old, old game. Yeah. Oh, it's got the Platinum. What did I miss, then? I'll, I'll probably go for the Platinum, then. <laughs> Spicy. Mm, I'll look into that, then. One more trophy. And I get the Platinum. So I'll probably look into that because I'm kind of curious about it. I would, I would love one more platinum, and this this was easy. But anyway, guys, I am clocking out. It's almost 3.48. It's almost 4 a.m. Also, by the way, guys, next week we're doing this, by the way. I'm bringing back the little hope, House of Ashes, and then we're doing uh, the quarry. That's going to be awesome. Anyway, good night, guys. Peace out. Thank you, Edward, for the uh, super chat. Here. Thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed Hidden Agenda and the Suicide of Rachel Foster. Both awesome games. And uh, I'm gonna see us. I'm gonna see us tomorrow with Rise of the Tomb Raider. We're doing that on Survivor, by the way. Okay, so that should be good. Okay, and then Friday, of course, obviously more Final Fantasy VII remake. So anyway, guys, good night, peace out. I'm gonna go devour. Thanks for everything. Hope you enjoyed both games. And I'm gonna see us tomorrow for Rise of the Tomb Raider on Survivor. Later. Peace out.